change much, would it? No, just the loudness, because I was fucking with the game. Oh, I gotcha. So. That goddamn gain. Yeah, because when I put it real close to me, I don't want it to just, when I laugh, blow people's eardrums out. I'm going to do some advertising for this company today. Maybe they'll sponsor us. What company is it? Oh, that one from Park City? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, the claw, white claw. We love uh, some what's sparkling stuff with alcohol in it. Yeah, come <laughs> talk to us and we'll drink your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ad. It's pretty great. My favorite are Joey Diaz's ads. Like the, <laughs> does your little shit all stink? <laughs> For the bidet. Yeah, it's so good. Your little shithole. <laughs> Listen here, you cocksuckers. <laughs> He's too good. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing's open. Except for my Xbox. in the Xbox. I don't know why. I don't either. Because nothing's downloading. So. The webs are just doing shit, I guess. I just don't get how we go from not having a problem with the internet for like three months. I think it's just the Xfinity. Yeah, but we unplugged it once and then it's just gone downhill from there. Doesn't make sense to me. I have no idea. My dad was saying something about how mad he is at Xfinity today, so. Right. I don't know if they've just been fucking around lately. Or what the deal is. I like how I said I was giving them advertisement. <laughs> you can't even see what it says on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, White Claw. That's what it would look like if we were to advertise you. Right? <laughs> we're not going to. You don't want your alcohol drinks unless you want us to have them. <laughs> Send them. <laughs> we'll take them. We'll also take some natural alpine spring water. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Come advertise us, baby. I'll suck you. Hey, dick. Dingo. Happy Halloween. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, thank you, Dingo. I hope your Halloween's been fun. Did you do anything spooky? Did you go boo? <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, passing out candy today, uh-huh. and uh, this kid comes to the door, and he's probably like 13, yeah. and he was pretty much naked, except a bow tie and underwear. Jesus. And he's like, it's going to get cold by the time I come back around. I'm like, come back around? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and he came back, and he's like, it's pretty cold out here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like what? Did, I didn't ask him what he was supposed to be dressed up as because I was like, "This is weird." Yeah, you're putting me in a weird circumstance here, little fella. <laughs> get inside <laughs> and get in the goddamn house. Oh, Lord. Listen here, you assume the position, little feller. That son of a bitch. But besides that, I don't know. There wasn't any cool costumes this year. No Fortniteers that I saw. That's good. Did you see the cringe from? Uh, <coughs> TwitchCon? Uh-uh. Oh, they had a whole section for Fortnite, a huge area. And it was just video people dressed exact like adults, just like they're in Fortnite doing the dances. I was like, God damn it, I would bully them. It's time to stop. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I just don't get it. I personally just don't get it. I hate, I hate it. I hate every goddamn second of it. <laughs> Yeah. I just, Relax, ninja. <laughs> yeah, calm down. You're not making ninja money. Get out of here. But yeah, I don't, know. I don't know, man. I guess I shouldn't talk too much shit because, like, there's Should games that I've followed where, like, Did you people stand cosplay. Doing weird dances? <laughs> no, not once ever. <laughs> <laughs> then talk all this shit whatever I'm not gonna fuck with it right now do it later there was there has not been a point in time in my life where I've sat around and danced like anything <laughs> you mean you never just stand around and 
No, <laughs> not often. Oh, I do. Not in front of people. <laughs> Only in the mirror. <laughs> Only in the mirror to make sure I'm really giving justice to the orange man. Let's just smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That one specifically. <laughs> I do the one where like. <laughs> Did you go to TwitchCon? No, I just saw videos from it. Uh, fuck. I just remember the cringiest shit was that night that we were hanging out here. And we found that video of the dudes who made the Fortnite dance video, but it was like they tried to make it a legit dance video. Oh, Did you remember yeah, that? It was like yeah. the three, like, Logan Paul looking dudes. Oh, God, that made me sick. <laughs> then, uh, bleh. Wait, is my body, let's see, really part of the earth and is blood running through my veins? I keep my eyes from looking too far up. I feel there's heaven above. And my friend had his syphilis treated. Oh. Syphilis is easily treatable. I thought syphilis was not the treatable one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One of them was... Which one is someone that we know had that was treatable? Chlamydia? Oh, chlamydia. I mean, that's what I was thinking of. I, I, I don't know. You gotta avoid syphilis, then. I don't know if it is for sure. Let's look it up. Never had that one. <laughs> <laughs> FCD facts. A syphilis. Treatable? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, curable and... Okay, never mind. Penicillin. We're good. Get a little penicillin up in your body and syphilis be gone. Okay. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, as long as it's treatable. That's all that matters. Now I know that two times if I pee and it burns, I'm okay. <laughs> be like, ooh, gotta go to the well, dog. Syphilis is the one I think that, like, actually you have, like, fucked up shit up in your skin and stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Ew, there's one on the left. Middle. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Your little peen. <laughs> <laughs> little peen's got some little sores on it. <laughs> I told the story about my friend shagging an Amish girl because I think I did. Yes, you have told us that story. Classic Is that how story. How we got it? That, wait, yeah. Did he get syphilis from her? I didn't know syphilis was running rampant in the Amish community. <laughs> Everything's running rampant in the Amish community. Rum Springer? <laughs> Rum Springer. Oh, hey. It's a fizzy boy. That's why I like to leave on the faces of my victims. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I should have given out for Halloween. Just fucking. There you go. <laughs> fucking Millers. <laughs> there you go, son. <laughs> I'm seven. He yeah. did get syphilis from an Amish from the Amish lady. Damn. How tragic. It's the last place I would expect to get it. Oh, well, I guess if you think about it. I, I don't how know. did it get in there? <laughs> well, I guess that's a good question. I was gonna say, how hygienic do you think the Amish poon is I'm, actually? Yeah, and I peen. Mean, I think maybe yeast infections may run rampant, but syphilis? Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Cause I just like to think like I know people who are not in Amish who are not the most cleanly, yeah. but in Amish town, <laughs> not smoking big doinks, yeah. R.I.P. to me, apparently. <laughs> I still have the video from Dove Creek. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was just going through my videos the other day because I was trying to find one. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smoking big doinks in Amish. That night was fun, but the snow, all of a sudden it was nice, and then it just came out and it was fucking so much snow. Yeah. That was... I, all those memories that I've had up there have been good in the end. Yeah. But there's always fucking snow. We never go up there when it's warm. Yeah. I don't, at least. Mm, I can't, because it's dusty, and my allergies are mm. awful, and I'm miserable, so I don't like going out there in the summer. Right. It's hot, it's dry. It's a, What's the perfect, is it, like, mid-fall or spring? Probably, spring? Because it's, like, a lot of water, rain, so nothing, all, none of the plants have died yet, they're all fresh. I'd rather have, like, those type of allergies than just... Dust in your face. It's dry dust, and I can't breathe, and my eyes hurt. Right. So. No, I feel you on that, because I would... I don't know. Yeah, the dry aller... 
excuse me, the dry allergies are much worse. Yeah, for sure. Because they hurt. It's like <laughs> stinging. Fucked with the color. I went from looking white to blurry. <laughs> oh well, deal with it later. If you guys don't know, I worked at a movie theater. Yes, or th- oh, you work at one? And no, it's not cool <coughs> as you think. I like how have you noticed now that Discord tells by itself when you go live? Yeah, Salty set that up. Oh, you see, he set up. Okay, yeah. it makes sense. Like anyone that's in it too. Like, yeah, we we have a couple people set up to do the push notifications and they go live. Nice. Yeah, because I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. Salty makes was sense. doing something there yesterday. I was gonna ask him because it kept popping up and he was just. Um, I was playing this, so I couldn't get in the voice chat to see what he was doing. I just looked on my phone and saw he was in the voice chat, and then he was just sending random numbers to the music bot. Oh. It was like, five one two two, like, all these random numbers. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Salty's hacking us, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out one day all of our bank accounts have been drained. <laughs> well, have fun with the dollar twenty three. Yeah, I was going to say, I got, like, $32, <laughs> friend. You can have it. <laughs> Half, oh. You're halfway to Red Dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're here? I said a video chat for the Discord server. Is that what you were doing? Oh. Yeah, I just saw you fucking typing just numbers pop up. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck's he doing? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I'll, I don't know. I don't think that's right. Yeah, uh, that's why I was curious. It's definitely not. And train 3226 from Wes's account. Nice. I mean, you can have it. I scared my boyfriend tonight with two words. I'm pregnant? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I was like, is that three? Pregnant. So Pre- it's not a letter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pregante. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, that one video that guy did. Oof. Yes. Ooh, were you joking or are you actually pregnant? Yeah. Because that would be the major spook. I'm not really. I just wanted to fuck with him. <laughs> Damn, that's hardcore. Yeah, that's the ultimate Halloween scare. Right? <laughs> hey, happy Halloween. You're going to have a little kid. <laughs> uh. You see how cute all these kids are trick-or-treating? <laughs> yeah, pretty cute. Well, congrats. You rub your, your belly. <laughs> like how Gaster. Congrats. <laughs> oh. oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Damn. What would you name your kid? You find out tomorrow that you there's some girl who's nine months pregnant, and it's a little boy, and she's keeping it, and it's yours. Um, but you have to name it. Okay. I gotta think of a good one. I think I'm going with the classic Goku. Goku? Yeah. 2018 Goku. Philip? Philip. Like Philip's good one. A little Pugglesnip. <laughs> little Pugglesnip. <laughs> One word. <laughs> one word. Little <laughs> Puggleston. <laughs> no, I'm going to name him something like super fucked up. Um, like. <laughs> hey, Arnold. <laughs> oh, man. Arnold would be an awful name. <laughs> yeah. But I would giggle every time. Like, hey, Arnold. He'd be like, hey, you're a TV show from the 90s. I name him Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> or I like Ghibli. Or Yams. Yams Benson. Yams Benson, the classic. <laughs> I would be so mad if I got that call though. What call? It's like, hey, I'm nine months pregnant. Baby's getting born tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like you're nine months disappearing, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's my dab and invisibility. Let's go camping to celebrate. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, Elizabeth Powell <laughs> or whatever his name is, Susan you, Powell? Yeah, Susan Powell. Like- I put Elizabeth Smart and Susan Powell Let's together. Let's go visit the volcano or the lava stuff in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. I've heard, finding them boats. <laughs> I've heard it's quite intense. You ever been to a pig farm? Oh, man. Do you know what a boar is? My mom and dad, they just watch random videos on YouTube. and um, I'm not going to go into too many details, but my mom was watching. The, somehow she clicked on a doctor talking about he was an OBGYN like, and did like abortions and shit. And, um, man, he was just telling some of the stories and, or my mom was, she watched it. I didn't watch it. She was just telling me about it and stuff. And like, she's like, I used to be like pro-choice, you know, but she's like, after hearing his gruesome details of what they do while the baby's still in the womb, like late term abortions and stuff, I was like, Ooh, God, like the one, like, 
I don't even know if it's Twitch appropriate. I don't know. I want to like say gruesome details. Yeah. And get in trouble. You suck it out with a vacuum. <laughs> well, no. She, she, um, the guy said, um, if you squeeze its head, and then white stuff starts to come out, that means something because you crushed his brain. They're like, oh. he's dead. So I was like, oh my god. Cool. Because that was his brain, like, gooing out. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And squish, talking about squish. how you have to take it out piece by piece while it's still alive. So you're like, like, its brain's developing and you're ripping the baby's arms off and stuff. I was like, well, okay then. Interesting. <laughs> Wait till the baby's alive and leave him in the tub too long, I guess. <laughs> Much more safe, <laughs> or much more. Uh, so you had safe, uh, too many glasses of wine. Yeah. Little fella couldn't swim too well. Then he tears limbs off. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B, though, baby. Rest in peace, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, P. Philip. You just that fetus. Yeah, right out the window. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I think anymore these days. No. Once I get put in the circumstance. Idaho seems real close. Yeah. <laughs> so does 700 bucks. Right? Exactly. For, you, for those of you who don't know, we're in Utah. We can't get abortions here. So we got to drive up to Idaho. All right. All right. Why? Let's see. Salty, how much is a flight to Utah? <laughs> Bring your punching glove. <laughs> Bring the punching bag. And just like... We're going to teach you Rocky moves. Right. So, uh, in our chat, Gaster said, part of our story, part of his story, anyway, I was working concessions when he was at the movie theater, Stan and saw a naked macho man, Randy Savage impersonator, with a satchel of Slim Jims and ran into a theater, throwing Slim Jims at people, doing macho man, Randy Savage quotes. Damn. (laughs) That'd be Not pretty that great. Those were capes. Right, they don't. I'd be pretty pumped if I was in a movie. Even if I was in the movie and fucking Macho Man Randy Savage comes in, he's like, Oh yeah, <laughs> and throws Slim Jims at me. I'd be so fucking pumped. I'm down. When is it a bad time to get a couple Slim Jims? Never. Like, thanks, what did, Randy. What did Son say? Um, he was doing Slim Jim bike, but like in country. What is Stan? Oh no, it was um the guy from like Forty Year Old Virgin, Paul Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd, yeah. And he was in a movie. So what was he saying? I just want to look up his quote because what he was saying was so funny. Paul Rudd's pretty funny. I don't know. I don't like the character that he always gets casted into. It depends on the movie. Right. Uh, that's it. But because he plays the really good same character. Yeah. But he can really shine when he doesn't play that character. Yeah. I just want to hear what he was saying. Because, like, his role in Forgetting Sarah Marshall is fucking great. Yeah. What do you think? He's opening the Slim Jim. Oh. Bite the gym. <laughs> Bite into the James. Bite into the James. Bite the James. Take a bite of the James. Yeah, that was it. Take a bite of the James. Damn. <laughs> That's good. And more Gasser's story. He was also lubed up. Allowing him to slip out of the grip of the security guard's arms. Damn. Well, if he's the real watch man, Randy Savage, I'm not catching him. He could be <laughs> lubed up or not. <laughs> he'll flex and break your fucking arm. He'll grab his arm and he'll flex and he'll just shatter your fingers. It's kind of like the reason why our friend Manuel hasn't punched Forrest in the stomach yet. <laughs> he doesn't want to hurt his hand. He knows deep down he's like, I could punch him, but I'm sacrificing my hand for the next six months. We can't push it anymore. Can't tempt him. <laughs> can't tempt Faith. Because he's going to do it. And it's going to suck. For him. <laughs> yeah, for him, exactly. His poor little hand. We're going to have to drive him to the fucking hospital to get his hand repaired. It's going to suck. 
He's gonna be looking like Luke Skywalker when he's <laughs> right. Your fan, bitch. You're gonna be over him flexing like I am your dad. Hope you like playing Xbox, cause no, you don't have the hands. Right. Sucks to suck, nerd. <laughs> but I see. I had some other shit I brought to me. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Shit on me, dad jokes. Papa. No one's laughing at my goddamn. No one, only Kai and a couple of people. Like, have you seen my dad jokes? I've been posting on Twitter. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, it's so good. Yeah. Like, uh, I didn't post this one yet, but uh, so my post or my uh, mailman got a sex change, so you could say he's postman now. Damn. <laughs> Do you know what the key of that joke is? The delivery. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, why did the old uh, the old woman fall into the well? Why? Because she couldn't see that well. <laughs> Damn, I guess it's time for me to get on Twitter more often. <laughs> I posted yeah. that one and only Kyle liked it. <laughs> and I added the gif of Betty White dabbing. <laughs> oh, this is the other one I put in. Let me go to my Twitter real quick. <laughs> People liked my cheesy pickup line. What do you call a bunch of people lifting mozzarella? Cheesy pickup line. <laughs> Someone posted something I post your cheesiest pickup line. I'm like, bitch, I got you. What? <coughs> What's the least spoken language in the world? What? Sign language. God damn. <laughs> uh, my mom said I have no sense of direction. So I just grabbed my things and write. <laughs> <laughs> that one's actually really good. <laughs> I just grab my things and write. <laughs> oh, it's fucking so good. <laughs> are, you, are you coming up with these? No <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, I was like, fucking Christ, man. Your brain's at maximum overdrive. <laughs> if I could, I would. <laughs> yeah, I don't got that skill. <laughs> so when I found the well one, the uh, Pornhub condom or con or comment section. Dude, the Pornhub comment <laughs> section is so fucking good. I was like, I, I just go there like daily and just click on the top video and look at the comments. Like I'm not even jerking off at that time. I'm just, They're just quality. I just know there's gonna be some gold in there. So <laughs> my favorite is when they start getting into astrophysics conversations. <laughs> yeah. And it's like people who are actually smart as shit talking about it. I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? Oh, God, yeah. And then I was like, I need more dad jokes. And right. You know, I'm just going to overdo it on Twitter for sure, like to the point where I, people have followed me. I'm posting so many dad jokes. Good. No one can have too many dad jokes. Did my Moses line work for you, Forrest? Salty? It did not. <laughs> it did not. No, I deleted my Tinder because it was. I had it paused forever, <coughs> so like, it put me at the back of the line. What was it again, Salty? Something like, um, I'm Moses, and I'm here to spread them, or part them legs, or something. <laughs> I had that as my bio on Twitter, or Tinder, because he told me to, and I put it on Snapchat, and I was like, that's gold, Salty. No one well, knows and about it. I can't get my Tinder to even work. I just it won't let me log on. Mine just tells me to re-log in every day, so I got sick of it. Like, right. I had to go through like five steps to re-log in, and I was like, this i'm done I mean, tender's pointless anyways but i mean it works but <laughs> <laughs> it works but oh that reminds me i had to show you um <clears throat> something like i've matched like every time i've deleted it like i delete it like literally every three months and i come back on like three to six months later so i'll match with like the same people that i had already talked to or fucked like we'll rematch the oh like, yeah hey i'm back <laughs> Hey, howdy, partners. How do you <laughs> how do you feel about a round two? You look familiar. I think the last time. Oh, like you don't recognize me? No, the last time I saw you, you had my nut in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to talk about this yet, but I wanted to show you that uh, podcast is paying off. Mm-hmm. Because uh, that was a pretty smooth line for me to get a number, and it wasn't me doing it. Because uh, <laughs> they were uh-huh. watching. And like, oh, you seem pretty cool because of your podcast. 
you should have my number. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> about time. You guys going to SawCon next year? What the hell is SawCon? Is that like the Saw Movies convention? That'd be rad. Only if we they, meet some weirdos there. Only if they put me through the treatment. <laughs> right? I've lived enough days. I'm finna. Oh, no. God damn. Oh, no. Have you seen the old man <laughs> all the all the lines? Yeah. I, I shared on Facebook. It's so good. He just says them. I was going to send it to Salty. All around me. Because every time it's just a, an older gentleman dressed up as a doctor. <laughs> yeah. And he says, like, the ligament. He says all the jokes. And every time he says one, he dabs. <laughs> Damn. I can't believe we just got destroyed by Dingo Hawk. <laughs> Gave it to oh. me real good. <laughs> My chest hurts from that one. <laughs> well... I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, SawCon. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Like, I like Saw movies or, like, weird shit. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Bamboozled yet again. Can you start up SawCon now? Yeah. Well, show's over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for us to go. <laughs> you really hurt my self-esteem on that one. Oh, God. I think it'd be fun, like... If we could get media passes to some of these conventions around here, like I'm not talking like Comic Con, <laughs> I'm talking the fucking weird ones, and go and interview people for content. Like get the real weirdos. I'm down. I want to go to like fucking what's the one where they dress up as animals and furries? Not say they fuck, but fuck. I want to go to Furry Con. Damn. And interview people. Yeah, do you know what they keep finding mostly furry con is? Pedophiles. And the neo-Nazis for some reason. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. I don't know why, but... <laughs> is it because about it. Is it because they can sleep with other races and not be worried about their Nazi guilt? I guess. <laughs> I saw... So, uh, before I was playing Red Dead before you got here and stuff, and in that big town I'm in, uh... There's a dude, and he's passing out flyers and stuff. He's like, I'm not a hater. I'm just a racist. <laughs> like, okay, guy. <laughs> Rain first, con? Damn. I don't know if you're serious there, Salty, or if that was a pun. Rain forest, con. One letter change, and then someone fit in real good. <laughs> True. But you know how fun that'd be? Because, like... You could either be on the mic, or I could be on the mic interviewing people. Switch up. And I'm just going to ask awful questions to people. And just get that, like, pause of them, like... <laughs> like, so, underneath that fursuit, how many dragon dildos do you have in there? Damn. <laughs> They're like, four? Yeah. We could easily do that stuff. We just need to figure out how to film it. And... Well, you can film in most of those conventions, I think. I mean, how, like... What we're using phone or yeah, camera. probably just phone. Yeah, true. Or we get the camera and we put the little mic fuzzy thing on it. Yeah. Or yeah, or if we got a microphone, we could just record into that device and then just do post. You know, it'd be funny up. is if we got salty with us and <laughs> we have a wire running from like a knife, uh, like one of the cameras to a big boom mic and salty's got to hold the boom mic next to people. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk them on the head. <laughs> right. How many, <laughs> that'll be the game is actually how many donks can salty get on, on the person we're interviewing's head. <laughs> yes, I will. Salty says. <laughs> oh my God. Just use these. Right? <laughs> we would just have to bring a computer. Perfect. Just It would just be me. Like, I'll have, like, a harness on, kind of like a baby harness. And it would just have, like, a tray, and my MacBook will be on there. <laughs> and then just next to it, we'll have, like, a microphone. So I'm like this, just with the fucking mic plugged into it. So I'll just... <laughs> Buns and people. <laughs> I have a backpack on with like a car battery. <laughs> so I'm just. 
Salty says furries are famously violent though, so we gotta be ready to lay down hands. That would be the best if we beat up a bunch of furries. Or it's just like us, like, filming running away. <laughs> a whole entire, like, crowd of furries chasing us. Yeah, I guess, yeah, easily we could use the, I guess, GoPro and then just bring a mic. Yeah, so. definitely. It wouldn't be, it definitely wouldn't be hard to do. It'd Those, be a uh, lot of fun. The, um, <coughs> like the little tiny clip on oh but that wouldn't work we'd want an actual mic to have it yeah we could get a bluetooth one that I could hold and then just record into the um, like voice record on yeah. the phone cause then you just we'll just sync it up afterwards right cause that's not too hard to no do. not at all so yeah we could easily do that just record sound and then with the cause we could easily just buy a we don't need a super fucking nice mic. Right, no. a $50 mic and then just plug it into the phone, record sound with the phone, and then just with my GoPro or something. That so. I, it'd be, I think it'd be fantastic. So we need, and then we could do all sorts of stuff. Fucking <coughs> interviews on the streets randomly. I know, I want to. Oh, wait. No. I think it'd be great if we were like. I don't know, internet dub guys. I keep saying this, but sorry. But yeah, what? I think it'd be hilarious if we went and set up at like a public park, and there were, we just had a big sign that said "Come interview." <laughs> and when they get there, they're like, "Oh, what are you interviewing about?" "Oh, yeah, we got some questions." And they sit down, and we just don't ask them anything. She's like, "So yeah, uh, what do you think about that?" <laughs> Who is it that does that? Is it one of them? Does it? Uh, is that Eric Andre? Probably. <laughs> he likes to do shit like that. Yeah, it's one of them, and they don't even get to that point. Like they're like, "Hey, will you do an interview?" And then, like, all right, we're live in three, two, one. And then he holds the microphone in their face. <laughs> yeah. And then they don't say anything. He's like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, say something. And Come then on. they're like, <laughs> <laughs> that's when panic really sets in. Because <laughs> it's that fear of, like, oh my God, am I like live on TV right now? Like, how many people are watching me? Yeah. And then the panic sets in. That's usually when people just walk away. <laughs> my favorite I was watching again is uh, Security Cameraman or whatever. Or, surveillance camera guy or whatever. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just fills in random places. They took them off YouTube, but someone reposted all of them mm. on YouTube. And, God, it's so funny. And, like, my favorite is the college ones. Hey, Boss Hog. Boss Hog, what's but up? My favorite is when he goes to the college, like, um, like the classes and stuff, and he just walks in, and they're like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, nothing. Yeah, and oh, nothing. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just filming. Don't worry about it. And he just keeps saying stuff. People got so mad, And then they're too. like, the one guy's like, would you close the door? He's like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, Steps he walks in. The in. Closes the door. <laughs> yeah, the people would freak out. The one dude who was trying to fight him. But he was like, he was all into it. You'd run just a couple feet and then turn around so long that I'm filming. I just, yeah, he, he had some big old balls on him. Cause yeah, like, he did. Like, I, I guess, like, it's just like being more awkward than them. Yeah. And, like, yeah, so many dudes trying to fight him, and he would just run. Yeah. But, like, they just keep filming. Like, people breaking his camera. And yeah. He just kept doing it. it I'm just filming. Fucking so good. I love just his, like, peaceful demeanor. Like, yeah. Like, oh, I'm just filming, dude. Yeah. And, like, people would be like, he's like, there's security cameras up there. They're filming you. So, it's the same thing. Right. You filming him. The one was he was harassing the fuck out of the Scientologists. He went to the... Oh, room. yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that one. He just kept walking into the Scientology building. <laughs> or, like, it'd be people at a restaurant just eating, and he walks up and just starts filming them through the window. And then they're like, they, people are going, hey, could you just not do that? They're trying to eat, and they're just like, oh, yeah, I'll go across the street. He's just across the street. <laughs> <I'm> filming them. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That'd be super fun to do. Mm-hmm. I don't... I don't get why he got taken off of YouTube. Was there other ones that were a little bit like worse? Well, it's than... because he was when he was going to private places. Right. Wasn't asking people's permission to film him, but he's like, if it's all the, I don't know, they they let him stay on now. The ones that were re-uploaded. Yeah. So. Because I think the public ones are fine, but I guess yeah, going you can to, film anyone in public. Yeah, I guess going to the private areas is. Yeah, like I don't I don't know what the rules are, and. Yeah. I don't true. know if he did either, but he didn't give a fuck. I hate to use the word, like, social experiment, because those are usually bad, but it is kind of, like, funny to see people's reaction just from something that is so, like, it's not causing you any harm or not causing you any, like, 
I don't even know what word like. Is it just like the uncomfortableness of not being filmed? I, I don't know. Or being filmed? Freak out. Like, the one was just some guy. He had like one of those old trucks with like the trailers in the bed. And he was like sitting there eating a sandwich. And he was just filming him. And there was this big redneck guy. Or not big, but just this fucking redneck dude. And he's like, quit filming me, motherfucker. Yeah. And he starts chasing him and trying to punch <laughs> him and stuff. And I was like, man, people get pissed. Like, True. Like, if someone, the funniest is he, like, not only did he have, like, those reactions, he had some crazy stuff, like, that black crack whore that was trying to, like, oh, come yeah. back to, she's like, oh, you taking pictures, sweetie? And she has, like, short hair and her teeth are all gone. Yeah, she's, she's trying like, to. come back to my place, please, real quick. And she's like, uh, just $10, that's all I need, you can do anything you want to me, just $10. And he's like, no, I'm good. Yeah. And then she's like, and then after that, it was like 10 minutes of him like her dancing and stuff and they're just walking down the street harassing people and he's just <laughs> well and it's weird too because I think if you go like there's a lot of videos of like people filming on like college campuses like they don't care no. so I wonder if it's just like the older generation are really like anti being um, recorded <laughs> yeah the ones that got the most mad were the old people and the Asians Interesting. Yeah, the Asians with because he went to the one there was like an Asian restaurant and the funniest thing, like yeah he would like walk in the back of all these places but they were like all like a whole bunch of Asians chasing him trying to hit him and stuff like freaking the fuck out and I don't know why like culture thing I don't know they hated it though yeah, I guess it could be culture thing but, I guess for me like the people who get really mad make me wonder if they're doing shit that's like illegal. Because yeah. I wouldn't want to be recorded, too, if I was doing illegal shit, but... Like, the one dude that got one of the most mad was an Asian dry cleaner. He just walked to the counter at dry cleaner and was just sitting there filming. And that dude lost <laughs> his shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man, some of them are... But, yeah, he would walk into the McDonald's and then go past everyone behind the counter and just go start filming the people cooking fries <laughs> and stuff. Like, he's just in the back. And, like, the one lady was just looked at him and just nodded her head and just kept cooking. Right. And then the manager is like, what are you doing here? And then he's like, oh, nothing. And he just kept filming. <laughs> yeah, stuff. I love it. Oh, nothing. Just, just, just filming. Just, yeah. And just like, filming. Like, the one dude's like, hey, the manager's calling the cops. You should really leave. He's like, no, okay, thanks. <laughs> he stays there. <laughs> I wonder if he ever got arrested or not. I don't know. I can't remember his name. Let's, I just want to look it up. Or someone else. I think it's like surveillance. Yeah, it's something like that. It's supposed to be right? Yeah, it's, you're asking someone who can hardly spell his name. I don't know. Surveillance. Surveillance. Camera. So it's camera confirmation, yeah. And I never saw what he looked like. That's the thing. I guess that's what he looks like. He's <laughs> <laughs> just funny. Just this, oh, that's I. But yeah, it's someone freaking out at him. The next one to the right is. He a, just reminds me of the guy that's filming in fucking Project X. It totally does. That one was that one guy of got my favorites. Pissed. Yeah. Because he was on the phone call and he couldn't just keep doing his phone call. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. That dude that went blackface is Kanye. I was like, if I should do that as a bank executive. Yeah, you're taking the big moves in the wrong direction, Someone my else, friend. I was going to send it to you earlier, which is hilarious. Someone else had the exact same costume. Uh, they were blackface as Kanye, and their wife was just like him. Do people just not think? I don't know. It's 2018. It was okay, it flew, it was okay back <laughs> in the day because, like, Jimmy Kimmel is super liberal, like, hates Trump and everything, and he blackfaced this fucking Karl Malone. True. And no one said a word. True. <laughs> and so, so did. So and even Dave Chappelle, I don't even think, will really do the white face anymore. No. Like, and that's hilarious. Yeah, like, it's classic. You can't fucking be racist towards white people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of my favorite ones because it'd be like the weatherman, and he's just in white face. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's like, oh, he's doing the cops. Let's sprinkle some crack on here, Johnson. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I was. This it, black man killed the family and hung up pictures on himself. <laughs> I've seen this before, Johnson. I just think it's crazy because like Chappelle show could never happen nowadays. It just fucked up. Yeah. It's so good. It is. What's well, because, like, who was it that was talking about the 
Daniel Taj, I think. I think I talked about this not too long ago, but, like, being able to decipher the difference between reality and a joke. Yeah. And, like, how, you know, if you can't, your life must suck. Because he does something like a... Um, I'm using quotes here, Twitch. Don't get mad. Yeah. He says something like, um, rape's not funny. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, if you've ever said this sentence... Um, blank is not funny. Know that we will not be friends. Right. He's like, can't joke about pedophilia. He's like, he's like, well, if you make it funny enough, you can't. Right. Like, yeah. Tell me never once in your life you've never laughed at a preacher diddling a boy joke. Right. Yeah. Because I think he also says something like, "Rape's not funny, but a good rape joke <laughs> yeah, is yeah. really funny." <laughs> something along those lines, yeah. and you know, it's it's kind of true. Like, I, I feel bad for people who can't tell the difference between comedy and being serious because it's got to be hard your day has to be rough I hear, you hear constantly if you listen to stand-up specials <coughs> now like not the huge guys like you'll hear them say like something fucked up that you know because it's a joke like the one it's the one i was telling you uh where he's like um my dad doesn't beat me because he wants to it's the only way he can get hard now or whatever <laughs> yeah. and he's like and then you hear the crowd go oh he's like it's a joke people you're in a comedy show right like, well, weren't some of the big guys talking about, too, that there's, like, they do at some of the places down in California, they do, uh, what are they, I don't know what word to use, like, nights where it's only politically correct humor. No. Yeah, I that's, like, know. a real thing that goes on. Jesus. And <laughs> they say it's a bunch of, like, really shitty comedians who go and make, and, and they were, like, you know, we can't cut them down because there are funny stuff that's clean humor. Like, don't get us yeah. wrong, but, like, everything is, like, super tidy and, like, super well planned to not offend people. And I'm like... Cut down maggots. Yeah. It's like, why are you getting so angry over just words? Because people have nothing to do in their life. People are bitter, sour, p- fucking cum sluts. When's the last time in your life that someone said something and you were, like upset about it ever <laughs> I, i'm the most average white i'm white i'm straight i'm middle class i'm fucking the most at, there's nothing someone can say to offend me i think the only time anyone's ever offended me is someone said something about my mom yeah that's like a, not jokingly yeah that's the only time would like, yeah um, it's the only time words have ever made me want to really throw hands with someone. Yeah, but other than, like, Besides that, like... Like, someone attacking me personally? Never. Yeah, like... Even jokes, like... What are people going to say about me? Oh, you're fat. And I'm like, eh, I am. <laughs> I'll eat more than you, bud. All right. Like, it's... Yeah. Like, that's all... That's the only... That's the only shit you got on me, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you're going to say to me. Like, I... I don't know. I guess maybe it's just because we don't have any words that really have any... And we're not pussies. Yeah, no, it's true. Do you know what I was thinking about the other day? Like, kind of on this thing. Um, like, I feel like, you know, you always talk to the old people and, like, uh, what's the key? Like, what's the key to living so long? And they're always say stuff like, you know, oh, a glass of whiskey a day or right. smoke a cigar since I was 12 years old and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But never once do you hear... Oh, I lived a gluten-free diet. Right. Like, and we hear like, oh, my fucking uh, strictly <coughs> grass-fed butter. <laughs> <laughs> my vegan diet made me live to the ripe age of 97. You never hear that. It's always no. like, oh, I had a, I had cheeseburgers and smoke cigars and drink whiskey. It's always stuff like that. Yeah. So like, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah. That's really. other stuff I don't get. And, like, I... Whatever you want to eat is cool. I don't care. Mm. Like, you eat whatever you want to eat. You? Just stop talking about it. Yeah, same. Because yeah. no, yeah, <laughs> no one cares. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah, that's my thing, too. Like, your diet. What you, just, yeah, don't, no one gives a fuck. Like, no. If someone comes to you, like, and you're a fit human being, and they're like, hey, what do you eat? Yeah. That should be the only yeah. appropriate time you should talk Asking about your advice, diet. Asking advice, like, hey, how do I... Yeah. Not like, wow, but you should really eat better. Yeah, but if it, the fuck, how does what they eat affect you at all? I only go to Whole Foods and buy right. fresh, fresh yeah. avocados. Right. It's like, dude, you need a fucking no. Yeah. I just, yeah, I, I think it just comes back to that whole. It's the tribe mentality. So they, 
someone will show that they're vegan by talking about it a lot, and then they'll attract other vegans, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the joke I heard the other day. He's like, <laughs> he said something um, about someone being vegan or or vegetarian or something. And he's like, have you ever met a... He's like, do you know what's not surprising? He's like, I've never per- met a person like, wow, you don't eat meat? That's crazy. Right. He's like, that's never happened because they've already told you before. <laughs> right. People just want to be special, I guess. I don't know. My uncle is the only exception, I think. Yeah. Like, he, he's he's cheese now, but I've told you, like, he's vegan and stuff. But he's never, like, pushy about it. Like, his beliefs are his beliefs. He doesn't, like, openly talk about it. Like, if you ask him, like, hey, you can, you know, he'll I tell you. But it's, like, right. you know, he's never once been, like, Well, and I would like to, or, I'd like to think that there's a lot of people like that we just don't hear about because they're not. They don't act like yeah. that, but I think it's just... The vast majority... I feel like it's because a lot of people, all of a sudden, I think they go from one sh- extreme to the other. Oh, absolutely. So it's like, <laughs> relax, bud. Well, and I think, too, it's always like they want to be at the head of the extreme. So whatever the new trendy extreme is, they're there, and they're yeah. all about it. And it's like, are you, though? Yeah. Didn't yeah. I see you at McDonald's at 4 in the morning one night getting nugs? Yeah. That, like... Uh, um, what you just said almost exactly it's the that group you know say anything the punk band oh yeah yeah, yeah. it's like call her on the phone and that song yeah like, yeah he has a song like that where he's roasting it's like an old one it's like so he's ro- roasting old school um hipsters but he said something he's like whoa you're so postmodern yeah. he says something like you adhere to this something i don't know i'll play it for you afterwards but it's so funny because like what you were just saying just him he's just roasting hipsters and i was like i like him yeah, and like I said, like, I'm all about it, but it's just, I mean, what if I went around talking about, like, specific things in my lifestyle, like, constantly? No one's going to want to be around you. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, listen, I don't jerk off traditionally anymore. I fucking rub the gooch. <laughs> yeah. And I just tell that one to everyone. <laughs> I only jerk off into vegan-made socks. Oh, I'm going to try that one. <laughs> Say I'm vegan. Right? Hemp socks, baby. Hemp socks only. They're a little bit more harsh, but it really gives you this, like, natural yeah. feeling when you come. I kind of like the tickling of the fibers. Yeah, the fibers really add to the to the sensations, man. It reminds me of jerking off on the Declaration of Independence, because I was made out of hemp. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. And it, I think we see this with a bunch of shit, too, like the CBD craze. And you think, oh, do you know what I didn't know till today, till Kai told me? So, in Utah, CBD is legal to use. But illegal to sell. Oh. So do you know all these? My bought some for my dad sometime, but all the any CBD stuff you buy in Utah is not real. No. Oh. It's fake. So like, so I bought my like I see it on like people have tried to get me to do it. It's kind of like Mary Kay products. Oh yeah. They yeah, try yeah, to get you to that. sell this shit. Yeah. And so I this one chick she um she does other stuff too like her own personal company, but she sells CBD products. So I bought my dad this CBD rub because mm-hmm. I was like, maybe it'll help his soreness and yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely. Oh, he paid for it, but, you know, I went and picked it up for him and stuff. Right. And, like, he's like, it didn't do anything. He's like, it smells really good. It's kind of like a nice, like, lotion stuff. He's like, didn't do anything, though. And so, that, yeah, it's because it's not real. So that's so, just like, false advertising? Well, I don't think people selling it know with that either. Huh. Yeah, for sure. They say it's CBD, but it's fake CBD. Yeah, it's what, like, probably engineered CBD? Yeah, so it's like, it doesn't do anything. It's like the difference between marijuana and... Yeah, whatever fucking spice, spice. Yeah. pro drugs. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, but I, I thought for a while that was one of those crazes too, where I was like sick and tired. Of everyone talking about because like I use my CBD bath bomb and I feel so good. Yeah, which is funny like, now because I think about that too, and it means it's, they're making that shit up this yeah. whole time in Utah. Did, probably they were probably saying that it was like really good when in reality they just wanted to be part of the craze. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, there's shit that I've talked about, like, in my life where, like, you know, no one cared about except me. But, like... Sometimes you get excited about stuff, but when you're doing it for the craze... When you're doing it constantly, I think, is when it's... Mm. Like, take a break. <laughs> go go watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a movie or something. Like, oh, that reminded me of movies. You saying that because I was talking about earlier. Remember how you were talking about The Witch, how you didn't like it? Yeah. And stuff? But so I remembered, because Kai brought it up today, and after that night, I was like, 
Damn, why did I like that movie for some reason? And Kai was talking about it, so I remembered. It's when she fucking crushes up the baby and turns it into baby jam and rubs the dead baby's fucking all over her body. I don't know if I remember that. <laughs> she has to do all those things that they crush up herbs Yeah. In. She had a giant one. She crushed the baby up, the dead baby up in it, and made a jam, and then was rubbing the dead baby jam all over her body. I maybe need to rewatch this movie. I don't remember that at all. Kai didn't like it either. He's like, I turned it off a little bit after that because it was boring. But I was like, why do I like that? I was like, oh yeah, the, the baby, baby jam. jam. <laughs> yeah, she has, this, has this thing and like it doesn't. She kidnaps the baby and it, like it insinuates that she's crushing up the baby. And then like it's just this dead baby jam and she just starts rubbing all over her naked body. Oh. I was like, oh yeah, that's why the baby jam on the body. That's why I like that movie. <laughs> that movie went from boring to an A plus real Cause, quick. Like, that's what I was like because I remembered I liked that movie after and I was like. Why did I like it though? No. Yeah. And then Kai talked about it. I was like, oh, that's why I liked it. Damn, I don't know. The remember. rest of the movie may have sucked. <laughs> but, but just <laughs> that one scene carried it. Yeah, maybe I just wasn't paying attention because I was bored with it and missed the baby jam. Yeah, because that bitch definitely made some baby jam. <laughs> I can just show you real quick, just without sound, so you can see. Damn. Can you just Google baby jam? <laughs> yeah, we're going to see what pops up. <laughs> the witch baby jam. Nope. <laughs> Crushing baby. <laughs> Let's see if it pops up. That's gonna pop up either. Oh wait. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh. Boo. Oh. Boo. Oh, cute little baby. Oh what? What is that? <laughs> he got trolled. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I see that. Baby scene. Not that first one. Why are none of these it? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to show. Well, yeah, because that was the end of the movie. I don't know if it's going to. No one must have fucking made it. Huh. I can just pull up Netflix when I get home. Yeah. And look at it. I don't know when it is, but yeah, she kidnaps that fucking baby and then crushes that fucking thing. Well, up you know what? Sometimes you just gotta fucking crush the baby all over her. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking metal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know metal until you got baby jam on you. <laughs> oh my god, I should have ate some of those beers coming right through me. Not like getting drunk, but making me make pee. Making pee. Yeah. It's the worst. I'll pee one more time and then hold the rest. Okay. Oh, done. I will sit here and... Ultimate dab. Yeah, ultimate dab until you're back. But yeah. Some baby jam. Anyone have any spooky stories about just weird shit that's happened to them? That's not orgies in a theater? Because that, that's the kind of spooky that's not cool. If I walked into a movie theater... There's just a bunch of people banging, and I was working there. I'd be really upset because I probably got to be the one that cleans the semen. I ain't about cleaning semen. That ain't in my job description, El Jefe. I'd go to my boss immediately and just be like, Ugh, I'd give you a two-week notice, but you can go fuck yourself. Because I ain't being your semen soaper. No one wants that. No one wants to be that guy. I still see your diamonds in my mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to do the... <laughs> Those videos are so good. If I knew more about Minecraft, <laughs> I would be remaking so many songs to Minecraft videos. <laughs> Just to be that cringy. The best was What's His Butt, the big YouTuber who did the... the couple of music parodies. It was like the TNT... Dynamite, and then he did a Minecraft one, and then he did the DJ's Got Us Falling in Love parody, <laughs> and they know. got bigger than the actual songs. Oh god! And then he got sued, I think. Oh really? Yeah, because you can't find him anywhere. Damn. I can't remember his name. Captain Sparkles or something like that. Huh. He's really rich. It's crazy. He has a. Uh, he just I, I kind of follow like loosely follow him, but like four months ago he finally got his uh, Ford. Um, what's their supercar? 
the GT500? Yeah, he got his GT500. Damn. And he ordered it like a year ago. Shit. I was like, it's pretty nice. And he's got a Lambo and something else. Fuck. I'm like, damn, that YouTube money. Yeah. I'm paying real well. I wish. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some of this YouTube money. Any money. <laughs> yeah. Any money. This Miller High Life money. It's a champagne of beers. Yeah. Five dollars <laughs> a month and I'll, I'll, I'll advertise. You just gotta give me free beer. Right. Five bucks a month and free beer. I'll I think s- that's a great deal. True. For We don't have that many viewers, but like... It's maybe, Miller High Life, champagne of beers. Maybe you have the, the thousand viewers a month or however many we get. Like... That could be a lot of Miller High Life champagne and beers. Even one person, ten of those thousand drink Miller. There you go. We're making, That's worth the five dollars and the beer. We're making your company money. <laughs> I'll send this clip to Miller. Yeah. We live the high life. Yeah, we do. Only on Wednesdays and Thursdays, though. <laughs> the rest of it's paps and hams. Yeah, we live that Miller High Life when I start getting low on cash. <laughs> At the end of the month, mostly. Yeah, the end of the month. Near the fun. 15th and the 30th, I start drinking Miller High Life. <laughs> Two for 350? That's a deal. This you session. can't beat it. <laughs> God. Hmm. How much are those old English 400s or 800s? Or whatever bucks. That not f- expensive. They're not crazy expensive. I do not like the taste of those, but damn, do they. They fuck you They up. do the job. <laughs> Two. You don't know, because I think I'm drinking beer. Especially if I've had too much, and they're like, ooh. You stand up and you get that, like, oh, yeah. I'm at this level. <clears throat> I made you a little drink I'm going to bring tomorrow, or Friday. Okay. I don't think you're going to like it, but maybe. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's vodka, and I know you're not a fan of it. And vodka's okay with some stuff. I, I was thinking about switching back to vodka. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I did Cherry Jolly Rancher. Okay. Vodka, and it's been sitting for like four or five days now. Might be real good. Maybe. We'll find out. It might be really strong still. I oh, smelled it, good. and I was like, that just still smells like rubbing alcohol. I don't know. Do you know what's really good, though? Actually, like one of the... Which one? Grape. I think it's the Grape Schmirnoff vodka, mm. and I think it's one of the smoothest liquors I've had. Like, really? You can just easily drink it straight. Most liquors, you know. I... I have my days. Like, I don't know. I found a problem with me not drinking every day is that on the weekends, I overdo it. Mm. Because when I was drinking every day, you know, I would drink, you know, I'd get a strong buzz to slight drunk, you know, every day or less. But now I go from drinking, I don't know, I go days without drinking, besides, you know, this week. But I would go days without drinking and then on the weekend just just overdo fucking go it. ham and then by the time I realize that I'm getting drunk it's too late <laughs> yeah you already you've already drank it so <laughs> I mean I guess that kind of makes sense and it was uh, spread over the week so like I would just keep doing what I was doing the whole week you know I would have you know enough and then you wouldn't just get plastered on the week and hey but good night big papa hey yeah. big papa good night guys I get drunk every night not plastered thanks happy Halloween big papa yeah so, we got a question from Ryan here. Um, do you guys think large systems like gravity and time behave the same way as quantum systems you can observe in subatomic particles? In other words, do you think we're on the right track when it comes to unified theory? Hmm. So, sometimes science and stuff, I think if you take the three... Bring it down. <laughs> you gotta. Sometimes you. Sometimes you bring the three down. Sometimes you carry the three so over. So to your answer, about six. About six. Oh my god! So, what's funny about that is I was telling someone that I was talking to a couple days ago about your guys' story about <laughs> oh, yeah. the about six, and I was all like. Because she was saying something like fucking with people, and I'm like, I got a story for you about <laughs> how one of my old friends got fucked with in math class. And I don't remember all the stories. I just remember Thank something you. like they were in math. You guys were in math class, and he got called up to do an answer on the board. Yeah, you had to. So it was like in class work, and then in order to get your homework, you had to show that you did club work in class. Mm-hmm. So then, like, it was like class was about to end and stuff, and you didn't want to stay after. And so uh, I had finished early, but uh, he's like, "Hey, what's the answer?" And I was like, 
about six. <laughs> he's like, oh, thanks. Goes up and fucking shows it to the teacher. She's like, what do you mean about six? <laughs> do you think he wrote A-B-O-U-T six? For sure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> about six. Oh, shit. That was so fucking funny. So, Ryan, before I can answer your question here... Damn, I looked like a little beaver when I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan, I need to know a little bit more information. I don't know... <laughs> I what... didn't get to prove it, and it was the exact same. Anyways, continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what unified theory is, and I don't know a whole lot about our observations on subatomic particles... And I know what gravity and time are, but I don't know Wait, how. Let me see what you said here. Did you take the ash me? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get roasted again. No, I think it's. Uh, I don't know. Am I? What, what? I'm not gonna answer this question. <laughs> Never mind. What's the ash me? Is that like PEMDAS? What? Like plus. You know where it's like the order of when you do <coughs> stuff. Oh. Like plus, minus, no. Uh, addition, <laughs> subtraction, multiplication. I don't know. I'm not going to. No, because that's. Just in case I'm about to get roasted, I'm not going to answer your question. Because that's parentheses, um, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract. I think is the order. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're right, yeah. Or exponents is first, parentheses. Yeah. I don't know, man. Fuck math. <laughs> 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 I told you the story about how that bitch got mad at me in one of my math classes. Um, oh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, Pim Des. Um, oh, I was right. Parentheses, exponents, yeah. multiplication. Division, the, add, abstract, yeah. That chick that got mad at me in math class because I was too fast on my yeah. tests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was chunk high about that. Got that hundo. I know, I got super fucking high on my acupuncture, and why, I just, I don't know if I got lucky, but then, like, my classes, I was like, fuck, why did I not play slower? I don't know any of this shit. Like, I just must have answered the right questions correct, because I'm in way above math than I should be. <laughs> well, I think I think how it works is, do you remember taking the acupuncture, and they asked you, um, how much algebra do you remember? Did you get that question? I don't remember. When I got to the math portion, I had that, and I put, um, I don't remember much, and then it put me in math 950, which math 950 was a waste of my money. Yeah. Math 990 was a waste of my money. No, mine was too high. So, yeah, I mean... I, I dropped my math class. Did you get 1050? Mine was on Saturdays, too. That was another oh, reason I yeah, dropped that's it. that's a bad idea. It was on Saturdays, <laughs> and, like, I was like... This is an incredibly smart person class. What is this fucking astrophysics? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about in here? I'm not going to any class. That's what I'm saying. On I don't Saturday. know if I got super lucky, but it was like way too high. Same with my English class. Yeah. My reading, or let's see, I can't remember. So I got two that were like, I was like, I didn't even do this high in high school. Like, <laughs> what the fuck did I guess the right answers? But like, I was way high, and then one of them was like the right level I was right like, oh, here we go you had some talent for math though no i i'm good at it if i learn it correctly but my problem was that i never paid attention enough so like in high school we had this so i was like i got like super high in seventh grade mm -hmm. and then in eighth grade i was way fucking high but I always missed a lot of school so like i didn't learn the shit mm -hmm. and i was didn't care i thought it was I thought it, I wasn't wouldn't be cool if I was smart, <laughs> so I wouldn't try whatsoever. And then so, like, so I had taken I can't remember which class I took in eighth grade. It was like two above what I was supposed to be, but um, so I took that and then um, I got like a D on it, or so I passed the class even though I never went. And then so the teacher um, in ninth grade. Um, made me take Algebra A, which is just the Algebra class, but right. split into two years. And so in order to take <coughs> math credit, and I didn't know this, so I thought I was like, oh, he's just making me take retake Algebra. So, like, I was in the Taylor or class with um, Matt Mullane and Taylor Smith. Like, yeah. We were in the class together. And, like, me and Matt would, like, 
race to see who could get it done first and get the higher grade. Like, cause it was so fucking easy. Right. And, like, so, like, you know, we've aced that shit out of that class. And then I had to, and then the next year I was like, am I taking this again? But I had to because I had taken that one. You know, so it was the easiest thing in the goddamn world. Yeah. That See, was the class that Taylor karate chopped a calculator in half. Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> he could karate chop anything. <laughs> like, it hurts my hand just hitting stuff. A fucking scientific calculator, he karate chopped that motherfucker. Damn. Damn. We need to get him on Friday and see if he remembers that. Or yeah. bring one and see if he'll karate chop it. Right. It was boring as fuck, but once you reach a certain point, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, I just remember... So, like, I was similar with you. Like, I... Going into seventh grade, I was pretty... I tested high enough to go into regular algebra, mm-hmm. but I took pre-algebra, and I passed pre-algebra. I think what happened to me was I took algebra th- fucking seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, and tenth grade. Yeah. I think I never left algebra. I think I was so high in seventh grade that I fucking just... It's because of eighth grade. I could have just, he could have just made me take regular algebra again. Right. But that son of a bitch. He gave you A B algebra. But yeah, I, I took pre algebra, and then eighth grade was not a good year for me, and I failed. No, I didn't fail. I I got like a D mm-hmm. and a C throughout algebra the whole year. Yeah. So the teacher's like, you should probably just retake it. So yeah. ninth grade, I took algebra again. That's what should happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's weird. I don't know why you had to do the A-B thing. I took algebra again the next year and got A's all semester because it was, like, really easy. Yeah. And then went to 10th grade geometry. Wait, and then I think I did take geometry. So maybe it was opposite. Yeah, and then 11th grade something. I definitely took a geometry class. So maybe it was 8th grade and 9th. No, I don't know. Yeah, but similar, though. Yeah, regardless, <laughs> I took Oh, so maybe 11th grade I took geometry. See, I set myself up and also kind of fucked myself because I took all the accounting classes that our high school had to offer. And if you do all those, you get a full credit's worth of math classes. So I took algebra 2 in 11th grade and fucking hated it and didn't do – because we had a teacher. I'm not going to out him. He's an old guy. He's really nice. Which school? What's Krause? Okay. And he's really cool, but he doesn't teach. Name starts with a W. Mr. W. I, I never had him. I think I know what you're talking about. Though. Shitty teacher. Okay. Doesn't teach jack shit. Really cool guy. He could kick a bear. If you're listening oh, to this yeah, and you're yeah. from... He could kick his little bear statue thing. If You know who I'm talking about if you went to Woods Cross, people listening. I like the guy. Don't get me wrong. Just didn't teach well. And... I took his class for half the semester, got A's, cause I, and I thought I was hot shit, went into this lady's class. I don't remember her name. She was an older lady across from Kirk. Oh, I know the teacher. but Yeah, I, don't remember, I can't remember her name. And she was like seven chapters ahead <laughs> of where we were. And I was like, I came to her after class and my... Like, Listen, I had this guy, and we are like, seven chapters behind you. And she's like, well, you either catch up or you don't. And oh, I'm like, Jesus. how am I supposed to catch up? So I, I got C's in those, and then 12th grade, I was like, you know what? Fuck math. I'm not going to take any more. Yeah. And I just finished my accounting classes. But that screwed me for when I decided to go to college because I didn't take math for, like, yeah. five years, and I didn't know what the hell. I'm supposed to remember that shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what happened to my <laughs> – it's fucked up what happened to my brother, so – he did, like, the same as, so, um, on the ACU, what, ACT? ACT, yeah. ACT. I don't know if say ACU, but ACT, like, I, every time I took it, I was the first one done. I just didn't give a shit at the time. Right. Like, that was at the end of my ropes of high school. Where, like, <laughs> I was, I stopped going after that. I graduated early, but, like, I stopped going. I fucking hated it. And so I was at the point where, like, I don't give a fuck. So, like, I would just, I would do it, like, the the best I can, the fastest I can. Right. And if I didn't know the answer within, I would just guess. Mm-hmm. And I got like a 19, which is, you know, right. not awful, but for guessing and being the, like, people though were getting mad, like, cause I would be done. Like, you know, it's like an hour and a half for each section or something. And I was done in like 30 minutes each section. <laughs> so I was just sitting there for an hour. But so my brother got the same as me, same score as me. And, uh, 
um, apparently the all the teachers, all the math teachers, or I think it's math, had to get together and apologize to all the students because they didn't teach like most of the stuff in the ACT. Damn. So he uh, he's like, yeah, all the teachers had to gather us all together and apologize for not teaching us anything in the ACT. So I was like, that's fucking hardcore. Yeah. And they wouldn't let him take a yeah nineteen. Yeah, it's fuck you, Ben. What's not good? <laughs> <laughs> but for guessing, it's not bad. But. Uh, yeah so like she had, they had all had to apologize to them so I was like and then they said yeah we're sorry we didn't teach you and then they're like okay can you teach us and re- can we retake it and they're like if you want to pay it's like of course fuck you <clears throat> yeah that's bullshit the funniest is one of my cousins like apparently she like took it super serious like she was one of the tryhards you know 4.0s and stuff and then got lower than both of us ah <laughs> Well, I think that's the the that's a prime example of high school education. Doing the work does not equivalent yeah. equivalent to intelligence. No. My cousin Katie, she's the same way as me, like it's easy. Like I could do tests and stuff without studying whatsoever. Yeah. Like, as long as I, you know, kinda knew what's going on, like but then, you know, her sister, like, was she had to study fourteen hours straight and before stuff like that like i'm the same way the only time i ever studied in high school was for an honor honors chemistry class I and i that. shouldn't have been in that class i hated that class because i thought that if i took an honors class that means that it would be like better i heard your... that it was funner the reason i yeah i heard and they're like dude like they said it was like the same easy like people are like it's the same level of like you know it's just as easy as regular chemistry <laughs> But it's funner because you do more experience and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, it was, I don't know if it was harder for me. It was, like I was saying, missed school. And, like, I missed school for a week to go hunting. And after that, like, I had no idea what was going on. And so from there, I was just fucked. Yeah, I don't think, for me, it wasn't necessarily that it was more difficult. It was just fucking, it was pointless. Tedious. Too. It was pointless because it would be just hours of excess homework. And it wasn't homework where we're learning. Because, like, I understand if you're doing homework and you're learning new stuff. Mm-hmm. It was just homework doing the same repetitions we were doing in class. Yeah. But every day. So I was like, well, what? So I, I figured out, like, I looked up, like, what's the point of taking an honors class? doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't. You either take AP classes, and that means yeah. a lot. Yeah. Or you just take regular classes. Yeah. <clears throat> honors is just accelerated. Yeah, for sure. Because And it was kind of funny because... When I, I switched out of honors halfway through the year, and got good old Tady boy. Yeah, me too. And we, I was so far ahead that I didn't do anything in his class the whole rest of the year. Damn. It was just, it was just really silly. Person on the right makes a lot of sense. That's you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was the same way for. The honor stuff. I did the same thing. I switched to him too, and yeah, you know, I told you like he fucking hated me when I switched over. Right. <laughs> like yeah, cause that's when I was hanging, first starting hanging out with, like Joel and Jordan all them and wild boys, <laughs> and then Dude. just me like they were he probably already was having like problems with them. Right. But then just me switching to the class of <laughs> all those guys, he was like, I'll fucking send you back to honors. I was like. No, no, please. I like no. the easiness. <laughs> Your class is way easier, dude. Yeah. But then the next class I took of yours, so it's wildlife ecology, I think. Yeah. And then you loved us in that one. Right. So. I wish I would have taken uh, uh, Mr. Draw, RIP. Yeah. He was a teacher we had who passed away from cancer. He was a really cool guy. But I wish I would have taken his marine biology Me class. Too. Because I don't know anything about marine biology besides dolphins are fucking cool. And he was all about it. He had the shark yeah. tanks and stuff. Yeah, he was about it. He was very passionate about what it. What was his fucking fish's name that bit him a lot that lived with the sharks? Oh, Gunter or yeah, Gunter. It's something like that, right? Something along those lines, yeah. But yeah, he was a cool guy. I just remember the reason American High School Math Exam or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, one of the things that... Because, like, now that we're older, like... You know, you can kind of understand that teachers are just, that's their job, and they yeah. probably hate it as much as we hate our regular jobs. Yeah. And But, like, I respected him for two reasons. One, someone asked him in class 
And I, I, this isn't like a direct quote or anything. I just remember kind of what he said. He said something along the lines like, that some kid asked him, like, what's the point of life? Or he brought up the point oh, yeah. of life. And he's Fuck like, it. I still remember it. Yeah, there's not a point in life. It's to create carbon. And that's right. our cells only reason. Cells make protein. Yeah, cells make protein. <laughs> and that's the only point of life. And then he also brought up something bashing religion in yeah. his class. It was hilarious. Yeah. Like, I can't, I, I don't want to quote it because I don't want to, like, disrespect him or anything like that. But it had something to do with LDS and being bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, the kids in the class who probably never heard anything like that before in their lives were like. He was the coolest teacher because, you know, I think a lot of it was, yeah, cause, like he said, he had cancer and which was super sad because he talked about how he was athletic his whole life. He did everything healthy. Yeah. And then ended up with cancer. But, uh. I think he was, didn't give a fuck, and he <coughs> knew the school wasn't going to fire a dude with cancer, right. and he's an, it's not like he just didn't give a, he was an amazing teacher, right. he took his teaching super serious, he wanted everyone to succeed, but he didn't give a fuck how he taught it. Yeah, he would definitely throw in his true opinions on yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one time, uh, we had this uh, project, and we had to map the um, boats, trail, or the way this guy sailed. What's up, fuckers? Hey, what's up, dude? We had to map the way that this dude had traveled. I think it was Charles Darwin. I think we had to map his thing. Yeah. And I did it through the fucking con- or like North America. I was like, man, no way he's going through the rivers. <laughs> so I did it and then he came up to me. He's like, he didn't take his fucking boat. Like, he would swear. Yeah. He's like, he didn't take his fucking boat through land. He's like, ooh, my name's Forrest. I live in a house. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to live in the house one. <laughs> I live in a house. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> and then uh, our friend Jordan, he comes on here a lot. Not black Jordan, white Jordan. Yeah. And he was like super short in high school. And so like he was constantly making jokes about it. <laughs> like he would ask Jordan a question and Jordan like he would answer. He's like, well, Jordan, you came up a little short on that one. <laughs> And then, <laughs> I was like, this guy is my hero. Right. He was so funny. My favorite day ever, though, was when I <coughs> pwned Drot. Yeah. Because so, uh, yeah, was, we were taking a test or something, and, like, it, obviously, it was, like, I didn't give a shit and stuff, and um, so, like, I sat next to Joel, and Joel always got good grades and stuff like that, but, like I said, I always got good, because I knew the shit on test, I just didn't do homework. Right. And so, uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. But draw, um, after the test, I got, like, a super high score and stuff. And then he came back, or he brought me and Joel in the back and was like, he's like, hey, you guys, he's like, he was just saying I cheated off Joel mm-hmm. on the test and stuff. So he quizzed me, and then I knew more answers than Joel did. <laughs> so then, like, he, like, obviously he felt really bad, because, like, he just accused me of cheating off him, and I knew more than, he knew Joel didn't cheat, but, like, Right. He's like, look. And then he's like, I'm really sorry. He's like, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. He's like, you just, your homework, you'd never turn in. Right. So I was like, yeah, because I don't give a shit about homework. <laughs> doesn't mean I'm dumb, Drot, you piece of shit. In aquariums or anything? I think they're cool. I don't know much about them. I would love to get into them. They're kind, you know, they're expensive to get yeah. into, but I would love to Same. do stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, then he, like, yeah, he felt real. And then he never... Yeah. Bug me the rest of the semester because he's like, oh, okay, I get you now. I just remember one of, like, the the realest moments, like, one of my first real moments experiencing, like, someone struggling was um, him in class. He came in one day, and you could tell that, like, you know, he was in pain, probably from chemo and, yeah. like, just sick and all that type of stuff. And I remember he was just kind of, like, talking, like, we weren't really talking about work or school or whatever, and someone brought up there was a picture of his family or whatever and it was his daughter or whatever and he's he just said something along the lines like yeah i'm just really holding on until she graduates college and then like there's that pause and he's like well okay well, let's continue and like you you sit like i'm getting the chills thing about you sit there and think about that statement now and you're like he knew he was even at that point that he was gonna die that's sad because that's exactly how my uncle is yeah he was like just going he has cancer really bad and it's f- super fucking sad because, like, my aunt, like, tells my dad, you know, her brother and stuff, like, things that they wish they would have done differently from the beginning. Right. Just to make his overall... Experience better. 
Yeah, so he's not admit because he's they they all know like everyone you know he's dying like right. they don't it could be any day, but done things differently, so that while he's dying he's not miserable. Right, which is fucking so sad. Well, and it's sad too because like, he's a lot like Draw. He was the same way, healthy his whole life, and something just came up and. Yeah. Well, and I it kind of I feel bad for not only him but also the ones around him because like, you know. I'm sure if circumstances were different, like, you know, they wouldn't be having those feelings. But, like, it's kind of tough to put that feeling on yourself, wishing that you could have made it easier for them. Because, like, I'm sure you still put in all the effort you could. Yeah. You know, it's not like that's shit that you can just plan out and be like, all right. No, well. it's always on the moment. You're just trying to. The first, yeah, so the I think what <laughs> what happens is, like, but yeah, what, I, what brought up first is, um, yeah, because so my cousin just got married, and that's what he wanted to see his daughter get married. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he did, so it's like, how much time does he, you know... Because that's what his goal was. Like, he was fighting his fucking ass off for that. and then, But, like, <coughs> now it's... Yeah, like, so, yeah, what, the first thing, you know, you get diagnosed and stuff like that. And so everyone's first thing is cure. Like, how can we make this go away to where you're going to still live a long life and stuff right. like that. So I think a lot of, I think, I can't remember what it is. They basically, he had a lot of shit cut out of him. Mm-hmm. And like, so now he has to have like a, you know, a bag to go to the bathroom Lost and stuff like bag. that. Yeah. Just all that. And so pretty much what they're saying is like, she's like, his, my aunt's like, I wish we would have just shrunk it with chemo instead of, you know, having it just cut out. Cause now he's fucking miserable. Right. Like, you know, just stuff like that. Cause that's the thing, yeah. You always start off like, how can we try to get rid of this immediately? But, you know, and then that's that. You know. Stuff you don't know. Right. And I feel bad for your, you know, your aunt going through that too. Cause, like, I'm sure she, you know, unintentionally blames herself for. I think a lot of people do, yeah, for sure. You know, cause, like, that was with, that was with my mom and, like, my grandma passing. Like, no one knew. It just came Man. out of nowhere. And, yeah. like,. She, like, blames herself for shit that she wished she would have done. And I'm like, you can't... That's not fair to yourself, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, of course. Like, if we knew... If we knew that this would have happened with this direction, like, we could have done something different. But you didn't know. Yeah. But I think it's just kind of nature to sit there and dwell on... It is. And the thing about him is, like, he's the type of person that, like, a lot of people, you'd feel shit like, feel like shit about yourself seeing him, because, like, like, his whole life, he's, like, literally the hardest working person you'll ever mm-hmm. meet, like, no matter what, he, like, I think he's still, to this day, like, if I showed you a picture, like, he looks, you know, it's sad, you know, he's obviously, he's got, he's dying, and he still goes to work, he's, like, Jesus. He, he talks, like, he, and his thing is, he builds cabins, so, he just, like, he, in Jacksonville, he bit like, those super nice million dollar cabins, he right. builds those. Oh, wow. So, like, he's doing hard work and... Yeah, manual-ass labor. And, like, he doesn't complain. Like, and it's like, uh, everyone's like, Ooh, I can go to work. And then you just see him, like, fucking dying of cancer. Right, it really... Going to work still. It really and, puts things into perspective, right? Yeah, makes... I don't know. I think people need to see him like that. Like, makes you feel like shit. And do you need it? Do I, do you, do I feel guilty? No. I have nothing I can do. Makes me feel guilty when I'm being a pussy about doing hard work or right. It's kind of up early stuff like that when I'm like just lazy. Makes me feel guilty about being lazy. Yeah, I was gonna. That's what I was gonna say too. Is that you know I don't know your uncle or anything, but like hearing stories like that, like just makes me feel guilty that I'm not sick and I'm wasting it being lazy. Yeah, you know. Um, let's see. That looks like. A hunter, another boy who looks like werewolf hosting a talk show. Hey, trying. So, uh, the Thunder Flama says they're going to be in a better place and enjoy their next life. Death isn't that bad of a thing. Getting that, getting to that point is the bad thing. Yeah, I... I I'm drinking, so that sounds good. Yeah, that's good. I'm drinking too. No, I, I, I agree with you, you know. That's, that's how I felt with my grandpa. Like, you know, I mentioned on here before he's had... He had, like, several heart attacks and several strokes. And, like, during his last, like, 
He he was the type of guy that we we all thought like was gonna pass away a long time ago, and he held on, and we're like, oh, I don't know why you're doing this. <laughs> like, you know, we're all happy, obviously, but like, he outlived his wife, and we all thought that it was gonna be like yeah. a 15 year difference between those two passing, but yeah. for the opposite way. Yeah. But like, you know, it's kind of like the hindsight 2020. Like, was there things that, not me, because like obviously I was a kid when stuff stuff started happening but you know it was there things that other family members could have done to help him but like yeah. i i hear some of my family talk about they're like well they start thinking of these stories back in the day of like he owned property down by the kind of by the dump yeah. like it was by the golf course and like during like random times of the year he he would call um, for people to come get him out of a ditch because he drove his truck into a ditch. Yeah. And they were like, well, why did you drive your truck in this? Well, I don't know. I think I'm just tired and passed out. And, like, those could have been warning signs, but no one did anything. And I tell, like, I listen to my mom tell me these stories. I'm like, why are you, like, <laughs> don't blame yourself. What's like, don't you? don't feel guilty. Like, how are you supposed to fucking know? No, that's like, you know? Yeah. He said he probably did it or. Um, Death Thunder said um, he probably did it for you guys more time with the family yeah definitely yeah. yeah that's a thing you know just a little willpower can change the difference like oh yeah I feel like yeah they, there's something making them hold on absolutely knocking on death's door and the fight for something I wonder there's so many stories where people are like <laughs> you don't need to keep holding on you know they tell them that like you're, you know, be a piece, go. Right. And then they die that night. So yeah. it's like, do they really, is your willpower that Whoa. strengthening? I was going to ask, that was going to be my next question is like, do you think. That's when Heidi you, Klum, real quick, sorry, Googles. <coughs> oh, why does feel, yeah, Heidi Klum. Yeah, famous. Do you think that you feel, like, let's say you're in a situation like, you know, where you're close to death. Yeah. Do you think you can feel it? Like, do you... Because, like, I don't think death is something that you necessarily well, feel, but do you think you, like, could wake up and be like, well, I could could just die today? Maybe. So, do you know, I think... I don't know if it's in all things, but, like, at least in the LDS religion, they call it the veil. Mm-hmm. You know, they say that all... That the afterlife is here, you know? So, when you die... Like, right now, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, what's that movie? With the fucking pyramid head. Oh, Silent Hill. Silent Hill, how she's there, but, like, so it's kind of In like reality, a, there's not, she's not So there. I think that's kind of how, like, at least the LDS religion sees it, the veil. So once you die, you, you're still here, you're still, your spirit's still on Earth. Right. But, what was I saying? Where was I going with this? Like, do you, I was asking, do you Oh, okay, feel... that's what I was saying, yeah, yeah. So, I think, um, a lot of, you hear a lot of stories, like, at least, you know, I'm not religious by any means, but, like, afterlife stuff, I don't know. I um, mean, let's talk about it a lot, but like they say they start almost, you know, when they're close to death, they start to, you see a lot of old people talking about how they're seeing like, you know, whether it's spirits or something like right. that, which is weird to think about, you know, like they're like on the verge of dying and they're like, yeah, some, or my mother came and visited me last night. Right. Is that dementia? Is that them going crazy? Or... Could like, that be chemical releases in the brain? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like, because you always hear stories like that right when they're on the verge of death. Right. Like, hey, I saw my father last night, whatever, you know. It's like, are they seeing ghosts or? They having like those flashes back? Like premonition, yeah. That's a thing too, yeah. Because like I, I've always wondered that like, you know, if you were, you know, let's say you like got fucked up or whatever and you're like unconscious on your deathbed or whatever. I wonder if the feeling of death has, like, a physical feel to it. I don't know. Or, like, or I guess it's kind of, like, what I'm trying to ask is, like, we're breathing right now. We know yeah. we're breathing. And we only think about breathing if we actually sit down and think about yeah, breathing. breathing yeah. So if you sat down and you were in a position where your body's shutting down and you could pass away, if you thought about death, if you can make death happen naturally. Mm-hmm. That's kind of where I was going with, like, yeah. do you think, like, in a situation where, like, you're, you know, stage four cancer and, you know, life's a day-by-day situation, like you said, is willpower that strong that you could will yourself 
to stay alive? Or do you think it is just a, a stopwatch and there's a time that it's going to happen that, you know, it's just out of your control? I don't know. I think you maybe might combination be able to, of all. I don't know. Yeah, maybe both. Maybe different uh, circumstances. I think the thing is, yeah, I, don't, I just think will maybe like. Yeah, you just give up. Like maybe you. I don't know. It's hard to explain just giving up. Like yeah, because like if you give up, does that mean like your body's just gonna shut down? Or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I've, I just don't know how to explain it. I don't so. either. Like, cause yeah, you hear, hear people that are like, they were just, they gave up. There's no more will to live. Yeah. They always say they were, they had no more fight to give. Yeah. So it's like, how, I don't know. Was that just like, yeah. Mental? Uh, Yeah. That's the only thing. I don't know. I can't explain it. So. Cause I'm sure a lot of it is mental, right? Like, you know, you, if you, the more active you are, even though it's miserably being active, the longer you probably will live. Yeah. Whereas if you were just, like, to sit at home and give up, you're probably going to die sooner. But I don't know if that's, like, like one day could be the difference. I have no idea. Um, I guess crazy. someday we'll know or we won't know, but... Right? That's... Maybe <laughs> with my unhealthy lifestyle, maybe I will know more than I won't know. Right. Just because, you know, I don't think I'm going to be... <laughs> so I, here's how I think my life's gonna end. So it's Halloween, so we're getting spooky. <laughs> so it's Super gonna be one of two ways. One, I'm gonna die from a stupid, some sort of dumb thing, car wreck, uh, something that kills me instantly, something like that, you know. Right. Or, I'm gonna be miserable for like ten years of my life, and then when you're older. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I've hurt myself. Hey, hey, doing Mike. Um, so either I'm going to be fucking miserable from injuries I've had in the past right? or healthy, unhealthy fucking drinking and smoking drugs, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to be miserable the last bit, or I'm just going to fucking one day be walking down the road, my own, my own business and hit by a car. Who knows? Right. I think that's it. I think that's me. Something stupid or miserable. I got two choices. I don't think I'm going to be one of the people like. He peacefully died in his sleep. <laughs> right, I don't crying. think so either. Ooh, shit in my pants. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> you know, the bed shaking. What's yeah. up, Boss Hog and Mike? Yeah, Glad you guys are here. Well, okay, so here's Boss a... Boss Hog, is this Savage? <laughs> I was kind of thinking that too. And did you change your name Savage to Boss Hog? Because that's pretty funny. Um, hypothetical question. I know hypotheticals don't mean shit, but... Let's say for some reason you were to be able to tell between these two, what would you pick? How you're going to die or when you're going to die? If the, just the knowledge? Just the knowledge. Because uh, I, I, I've had this question <laughs> asked to me, and I think it's kind of a tough one. Cause like, it is because like, for my, if I was, for example, to pick how am I going to die, and they're like, car wreck. I'm never driving again. Because <laughs> yeah, then I'm just going to be fucking driving one day. I was like, is this it? Is right. This it? But when you... I think... I, I'm going to pick when. Yeah. I, God, I don't... That would suck for sure. No, I, th- I don't think it would suck. Because then you're going to live your life to the fucking max because you know the day you're going to die. That's a good point. But when... you know, Or how... Like, it could be anything. It's like, of cancer... And then you're like, when, when do I fucking do I get it when I'm 80? Do I get it like I'm getting routine checks? I'll tell you that <laughs> right. Because, yeah, I it's a tough question to answer because I, I like your thing, because like if you knew like when yeah. and it's like when you're 27, you're like, oh, well, fuck, I guess I'm going to start doing crazy shit now. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I know I'm not going to die earlier. Yeah. So I might as well do every drug in one. <laughs> right. Right, cause I know it's not till 27. Yeah. I know I'm not going to little peep it. Unless it's like, oh, he was in a coma for five years from all the drugs he did and died, <laughs> and then died in the coma. Fuck. <laughs> well, hopefully the coma's cool. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather know how. Man. <coughs> Not me by any means. Yeah, I guess it's a tough There's one. There's too many hows, so fuck no. When? Yeah, I think the how would just really be like, because there could be hows that were like good to know, and then there's hows that will fuck with your daily yeah. life. Because it's like, what if how was like, Choked on food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, well, do I just not eat anymore? Do I blend all my food? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a rough rest of your life. Right? Or it's going to be like, he left his house 
and several <laughs> men tied him down and forcibly raped him. <laughs> right. And then that's his death. I'm like, no. Never leave my home again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm becoming a hermit. <laughs> then the one day I'm just minding my own. Damn, fucking choke. Sorry, that's not my sentence because you said choking on an egg. But that's how the <laughs> fucking guy from Mob Deep died. Oh yeah, Mob Deep he died. He's in the goddamn on an egg. hospital too. They couldn't save him. Fuck. How embarrassing. <laughs> that hospital's. I give him a bad Yelp review for right. sure. Right. Mob Deep died from choking <laughs> on an egg at your hospital, you villains. It was, what did he have? He had some real shitty illness. Yeah. And he was there getting treatment and fucking choked on an egg. How disappointing. Didn't get shot. Didn't die from something cool. He was a gangster, yeah. too, and then goes out like that. Yeah. Died from an egg. R.I.P. But yeah, I don't know, man. Sorry about the frame drop, guys. It's a crazy, crazy thing. Life is a crazy thing. I'm not afraid, though. You know, a lot of people are afraid yeah, to die. Shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I think My, people who become afraid to die, like, dude, I'm at the point worry. where I'm the opposite. I want to know so bad. I'm not suicidal, but anyway. don't think I'm like, ooh, I'm excited to die. I'm gonna kill myself. Right. I'm just like, you wonder what's on the other side. Yeah, we're gonna see or we're not gonna see. So like, right. I'm in no, you know, I'm not stopping it. Some right. Guys, like, I'm fucking you. Do it. Yeah. I want to know. I bet you won't, pussy. The only reason I... I just don't want to die before all my family and friends, you know? Right, like, that's right the one now, thing. You know? Because, yeah, that's how I think about it. Because, like, I would hate to put friends and family through me dying. And I know, I guess that's selfish. I don't know if that's selfish yeah. to say. I guess selfish would be saying, fuck them, and I'm going to die. Yeah, that's selfish. Yeah. You're selfless. Right. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I, I just, because, like... If I had no friends or family, I'll tell you what, I would have already eaten a train. Right. <laughs> One bite, too. <laughs> no, it's true, though, because, like, you know, I would hate for... I think, like, the hardest thing for anyone to do would be to lose a kid, and I would, I couldn't put my parents yeah. through that. And, like, I'm not suicidal either. I'm not trying to say that, but, like, you know, I'd try to not put myself in circumstances where I'm going to die. Do you know, so... At least from my opinion on this, like, suicide thing. You know, like, in religion, a lot of people say if you kill yourself, you go automatically to hell in religion? Yeah. So I think th- for what I think, the reason they say that is because they hype up, you know, this afterlife, heaven, mm-hmm. is, unless you're an Hitler, an evil person, because they hype up this as, like, just, it's your test, like, going to this place, that's your life, and stuff like that. And if they, they make it sound so amazing... In that, like, if everyone had no negative repercussions, like, wouldn't everyone, everyone just want to kill it. themselves? Like, just Absolutely. get to this life already? Absolutely. So then they have to, you know, incorporate, oh, you'll go the worst place. If you you would lose that. all your customers. I mean, followers. Yeah. So then that's why I think, you know, like, people talk, like, you know, we all, uh, everyone, <coughs> most people have, you know, know someone or have had suicide directly affect them. And then they're like, are they going to hell? It's like, fuck no. Like, if. If heaven and hell is real, then, then like, you're not going to hell for that. The, the only reason that's a thing is literally to keep people from killing themselves. Because if heaven, if this afterlife is such an amazing fucking thing, why wouldn't we all just want to go there as fast as we can? Right. Why would we like wait well, around? The fact like that my mom didn't drown me as a tub as a in child because I'd automatically go to the highest form of heaven. Right. What a, that's selfish. Yeah. Exactly. As <laughs> <yeah>, selfish. <laughs> The fact that God didn't give me ass cancer right when I was yeah. born, selfish God. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that's I think that's another weird thing too, that if a baby dies Beep beep beep. Yes, Michaelson, correct. Beep beep beep, are you a Jeep? If if you die right as a baby, you automatically go to the highest point of heaven, right? So Hey, Gogles, don't mess in don't mess it or Mentioned D Rose tonight. Sorry. Oh yeah. PTSD uh, flashbacks. Um, the Utah Jazz had D Rose. They paid him a salary, then moved him on to Minnesota, and then tonight D Rose scores his career high against the Utah Jazz, yeah. beating the Utah Jazz by three points. Who the fuck scores 125 points and loses? <laughs> the Jazz. Yeah. Like, it's not they... like they played bad. No. D Rose scored fucking 50 points. That's yeah. Anyways, continue. Just, before I continue, just realize that he's going to get hurt in three yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking sure. But <laughs> um, No, I just think it's weird that they say, like, 
they automatically go to the highest points of heaven or whatever. Mm. But, like, do they just say that so, like, their loyal followers are still happy and still come to yeah, church and exactly still pay? Why. and like He's it, in a better place. Tim is the fucking test. Oh, the reason your infant son died of cancer miserably when he was... This is to test you. Oh, so what was his fucking test? He took seven breaths, and all seven were the most painful thing that anyone could ever go through. It's fucked up. To test you. Yeah. And your will. <laughs> it's fucked up. It is fucked up. I don't know, man. I just have too many That's problems That's why I hate religion. I just... How do you... How do people not see that you don't need to go to an organized religion to have a connection with God? Yeah. If there is a God, why would he want you to specifically go to this church every week... And do these things and listen to these he's people. He's a real narcissist. That's he what really I'm... is. And, but he's not supposed to be, right? Yeah. That's why... Um, it's a business. It's... Stop falling for businesses. The thing is, like Neil deGrasse Tyson says, everyone asks smart people, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Stephen Hawking, whatever. They always ask him, like, is there a God? Right. And then they're too smart. They never say yes or no. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson's answer, for example, is he said, here's what I think. He's like, if there is a God, he's either not all good or not all powerful. Right. He's like, just from my observation, if he's all good, he wouldn't kill babies or, you know, wouldn't have cancer. Or he's not all powerful and can't control that. Right. So if there is a God, he's neither the things the Bible says he is. Right. So, like, he's like, I'm not going to say there is or isn't a God, but what the Bible says, neither the things are true. He's right. not all good and all powerful. It'd be. He's neither of those things. It's too, yeah. It's either, you can be one or the other, I guess. You can be all good, and then, but not all powerful. So that means you can't control these things, but you can't be all you powerful can't be both. and all good. If he's all powerful, that means him killing these fucking kids, having teenage girls sexually assaulted, babies sexually assaulted. He's, he's not, not all, good. all good. Well, and then, then it comes to wonder, like, if there is a God and he's not all good, then... Did you just assume God's gender? <laughs> Did you just assume God's ethnicity? <laughs> um, he, you know, if 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 it's not <laughs> if God, if God is not all good, then you wonder. Like, I guess that's a good question. Like, why? What would he find? Like, would he be testing? his own, like, powers when he does shit like that? Or is it just, like... Shaginga. Yeah, or is he just so, like, ass cancer? Like, is it just, like, boredom? I think if boredom? God's real, I think God isn't... has checked out a long time ago. Yeah. If there is still... There could be an afterlife without a God easily. God Definitely. could have just been left. Maybe he's moved on to bigger and better pastures. If I hope God so. God is real. But you, you don't know. You don't know. I just, yeah. No one knows for sure, and if anyone tells you they knew, know or don't know, fuck them, they're liars. No one knows. No yeah. one knows. Don't know. Doesn't know. Don't knows. Don't knows. No know one nothing. don't knows. <laughs> don't you know, don't know nothing, don't know. <laughs> I just, I hope I'm wrong. That's mm-hmm. that's what I always tell people, because, like... I don't. You don't want to be wrong? I don't want an afterlife. Really? Do I want an eternity? No. Depends on where it's at. No I do. Way. I, I would rather have eternity an eternity. Is too long. Can what I if, get a hundred years after a hundred years? <laughs> hundred years eternity. after hundred years. But what? But that that goes to the whole thing. Like we don't know. Maybe it's not an eternity. I just. I eternity? hope I'm. Oh God. I hope Forever. I'm wrong. But eternity's just eternity's just it, Bible stuff. Do you know how long eternity is? Yeah, it's a long time. I need to fucking die. Like, what if your eternity though is every day you get to do whatever drug you want that's happily? Bo- yeah, you. That's fun for. You get to invent your own. That's fun for a while. You could be like, I want this to happen. That's fun for a while. You run out of ideas. I don't think so. Yeah, I think, unless you're saying my intelligence gets stronger after I die. Oh, absolutely. Then you maybe. can create things. Yeah, who knows? You could you no. could run your own Earth. Isn't that wait wait? Isn't that the whole point LDS of LDS religion? Is you yeah? Don't you want to run your own earth? No. You could be all like, see that little kid, ass cancer. <laughs> like you I, could be that guy. I don't want to be like that. <laughs> you could I be literally him. want to die and that be it. See, I'm the opposite because I think I'm going to die and that's going to be it, but I'd rather it not be it. That's all I want. 
I don't want any more. What if you enjoy Afterlife? I won't. What if you get to be a spooky, scary skeleton and scare little kids on Halloween? <laughs> but only on Halloween. No, because then nothing fucking Earth-like will exist. I won't get to play Xbox anymore. There's no ghosts. There's no ghosts in heaven. We're all ghosts. Yeah, so? I want to fucking do some... U- I know fucking aliens don't exist after I die. Yeah, no thanks. No, like what if we- there's aliens there? What if... Because, see, now you're just basing your heaven off of religion and that's it. I like the not knowing, I think. You like not knowing? I want to know, but I, if I all of a sudden I'm like, oh, what if we got abducted right now? And then fucking Gary, my friend that was on a different planet, standing here like, oh, this is fucking boring. Never mind. This isn't a goddamn... Okay, would you do it, though, if you got to pick your timeline? Like, you could, you could just be like, you know what? I'm kind of bored of this bullshit. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to churn off real quick, and you're just done. Yeah, because I'd do it just to I would find out. Oh, there's an afterlife. Good night. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> if there was an afterlife, you're not going to be like 10 minutes in like, I haven't found what I wanted to do yet. Good night. Do I get... No, because everything, every holy book talks about worldly possessions and worldly feelings. And that's what I like. I like fucking blowjobs and rocaine. Me too! <laughs> what I'm saying is take away the religious heaven. You get up to your own heaven and you can have as much rocaine and BJs as you want. And then you get tired of it and then you find something else you like. Now you like Xanax and your ass ate out. Uh-huh. Like, I'm talking like the heaven that you make in your own head. Maybe. We'll see. I'd be down for that. I don't think eternity, it's going to happen. No. No, no one Maybe wants like eternity. Maybe like a year. I think if it's an eternity for the rest, like, for the first hundred years, I'm going to do my shit, and then the last hundred years, I'm just going to jump off wherever I can until it just Etern- stops. At some point, you want it to end. I'm turning oh, this for anyone. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I want 200 years. <coughs> I want a max of 100 years here and a max of 100 years after I die. I could be down with that. Yeah, but then after your afterlife becomes an afterlife. Ooh, what if I die from this afterlife? And then there's religion in the afterlife, because, like, oh, after we die of the second afterlife, we're going to move on to a... a yeah, because no one could prove. Yeah. No one can truly prove it the never third, ends. It's the an third afterlife. It's an eternity, <laughs> no matter what. What if every time you die, you just come back to this new, like, it's the afterlife, but it's just a shade darker? I hate it. I'm done. <laughs> Everything Check just looks out. a little bit more gloomy. Check me out now. I'm done. <laughs> That would be miserable. And it's just like the same bullshit, just like in a weird area. You're like, hey, you should join our religion. What are you talking about? This is the afterlife. Yeah, but when we die, we go to the third afterlife. And that's actually where God's at. He's just testing us with this next hundred years. It's just an eternity of that. No, I'm done. Yeah, fucking X me out, homie. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> so as soon as missionaries come to my fucking <laughs> ghost house, house after I die, I'm done <laughs> i'd like for you to talk about our lord and savior clock fort <laughs> kill me now oh shit oh sh- the second afterlife you can't kill yourself so everyone's trapped that becomes hell yeah then it is hell. you can't kill yourself in the afterlife that's hell damn what if I'm that checking out early what if that would suck dude like hold on <laughs> what if when you die you think you go to hell or, or you go to heaven and it's an eternity that's hell. But no, 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 listen. But that is actually hell. Uh, what heaven is, is it's just done. Oh. Man. Because, like, I, I agree with you. I 100% agree with you that eternity would be awful anywhere. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Like, I could be in a heaven where it constantly feels like my dick's getting sucked and I'm just on top of the world doing everything I want. An eternity of that, you it's don't so want it. Fun, no. A time frame of that, that'd be great. Yeah. But, like, what if that is the case scenario where, like, everything everyone talked about, like, religion's corruption, all that type of stuff, and if you buy into that <laughs> thing, you go to this afterlife that's real, that's an eternity, but it's just fucking miserable. Yeah. Where actual heaven is your, once you die, you just click off. Because okay. you don't have to deal with it. Because no one wants to deal with an eternity. Mm-hmm. Like that. Well, How many podcast episodes can we get up to an eternity? <laughs> Hey, this is Top Show for his episode four hundred thousand million. Um, we're this. still wanting to die today. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. I I uh, was able to get this nuclear bomb from Earth. I'm gonna put it up my asshole and blow us up. Yeah. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> catch our live stream of us doing that. Um, 
I'm going to try to be a fucking racist today, so maybe fucking God will send me somewhere else to be (laughs) fucking miserable for once in my life. All this happy-go-lucky bullshit sucks. Yeah, just think, like, every day you wake up and you go outside your little ghost house, and your neighbor's just that over-the-top, like, happy, because he's super pumped to be there. Hi, neighbor! He does the Jordan wave. Hey, neighbor! That's what I was saying. If the people that are going to heaven actually go to heaven, I don't want to... Single thing to do with any of them. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, God. Girls that only do anal because they don't want to lose their virginity. Oh, oh right. Sickening. No one wants to poop a loophole the rest yeah. of their life. Oh, I never got any likes on it, but someone posted on Reddit. I was too late. And he said, what's the greatest loophole you've ever heard of? And I put the poop hole loophole <laughs> and explained what it was. Yes. No one liked it or anything. Damn. It already had like 20,000 likes. Oh, so. So I was too late. Loophole, loophole. Talk spooky, eh? Vag spiders? <coughs> no, the only thing that v- vaginas is, um, is it trolls? Pillow pants? Oh, the fucking from Clerks? <laughs> yeah, or the pussy troll. Yeah, the pussy troll. You gotta watch out for that guy. Damn, I said I have to pee again, but I gotta pee again. But I'm out of beer, so. After this, it's no more. Damn, no more Miller High Lifes. It's two o'clock. You can go convince Mama Maverick. <laughs> Mama Maverick is our local Maverick gas station owner. And we have theories that she does drugs a lot, like at least cocaine during the night. And she's fucking wild because you'll go in there one night and she's calm. And she's like, hey, I'm Mama Maverick. Welcome to Maverick. Hey, Mike, you need to chill with the spam as my guy. I appreciate you. I like beat boops and bops. You're kind of spamming. It's a little annoying. Um, But yeah. I don't know if she does, like, cocaine or what she's on, but then some days you'll come in there and she's, like, bouncing off the walls, and it's, like, 4 a.m., you know? It's not like she's been there already for, like, six hours. Like, she's on something, and it's, like, she'll sit there and want to talk to you for 15 minutes about nothing, about how her work is going, and she's always asking, you know what I mean? Blast me. And Mama Maverick? Yeah, talking she about... She always tells me fucking stories. I don't give a shit. I know. She fucking drink beer and then she roasts me because I give her my ID every time I go there. I think she does coke for sure. <laughs> hey, you want to be real wake, Mom Maverick? Yeah. Give me some stuff. Yeah. Mom Maverick, I'm kind of tired and I don't think this energy drink's going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> wake me up, Mom. <laughs> well, I just, the, the nights that I go in there where she's off her fucking rails and like acting wild, like, does she ever do the thing where she's all like, She'll tell you something like really fast, and then she'll be, you know what I mean, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't Listen, care. Ma'am, I just want my drink <coughs> and to go. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Is the problem here? I have two desires here. It's to drink my drink and leave. I don't want to <laughs> fucking talk with you right now. Listen, ma'am. I only got two options: drink my energy, drink and leave. And I'm all out of drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't drink this in here. So it's time for me to skedaddle on out. <laughs> I'm just going to start judo chopping her when she starts talking to me. She's like, shut up! <laughs> Chop her neck. Hey, got yeah. <laughs> Grab her lips. Stop flapping your lips, mm-hmm. Mama Maverick. What do you think is the most possible way of a zombie apocalypse? Mad cow disease. What did my brother say? Oh, yeah, I think I already told you. But he said if I have an infection and it's going to be the spur of a zombie apocalypse, he'll kill me without e- or with ease. Damn, dude, that's fucked up. That's, that's what I was going to tell you because, you know, you don't have siblings and stuff. Yeah. And like, oh, that's what it's like to have a sibling. <laughs> to him telling you that in a zombie apocalypse, he, just told he, me would, that randomly too. he would kill you very easily. <laughs> I was coughing. He's like, if you got a fucking infection and I knew it was going to cause a zombie outbreak, I'd kill you with ease. I was like, damn, dude. Okay. This is what's like having a sibling. Yeah. They fantasize about killing you to stop a va- zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Fuck. Rabies evolving. Yeah, rabies is a good one. Bath salts becoming too much. I don't know, I much. think an STD. An STD, Everyone yeah. loves fucking... That would cause so many zombies because like... see parasites. Yeah, no one would stop. Yeah, fuck No. <laughs> No one would stop. Because I'm going out on top. <laughs> the only people who would stop would be the fucking losers. <laughs> so now the people surviving the zombie apocalypse are just losers. Fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding, guys. That's not true. 
the true man. Do you think it'd be like, a, uh, what if you can only the only way you can catch a parasite is straight sex? <laughs> so it's just be a bunch of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no more babies. Our population's dwindling because dudes just fuck dudes and girls just fuck you girls. You have sex with the opposite, and then it's like zombies come about. <laughs> right? So then not only are you like. Worried about zombies, but you gotta fuck your bros if you want to get a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the worst disease. Hey. Hey, thank you for the host, small gran. <laughs> Thanks. I hope we're <laughs> talking about fucking dudes. <laughs> <laughs> In the hills, fucking dudes. Yeah, that would be, uh... Well, get, get some fucking my bros, I don't know. <laughs> you ain't clapping no cheeks today, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, big has an advantage. I can go up to my bros. It's gonna happen because I'm bigger. Like, well, I'm gonna go have sex with that zombie real quick because I'm done. <laughs> Bro, check the link out. Did you link it in Discord? Oh, it's right there. Oh, naked prowler. If it's something to do with naked, we have to well, block you. News. <clears throat> Naked Prowler caught masturbating on Sterling's fans video at Santa Ana. Is this you, Goggles? Damn, dude, did you get Are you caught? you jerking off on people's porches? <laughs> oh, God. Hilarious. <laughs> what a G. <laughs> what a G. I'm gonna do that to my parents' surveillance camera. <laughs> I'm gonna jerk off in front of it. I'm just about to go to sleep. I haven't been on Twitch for about a week, so I decided to come by and say hey. Oh, thank you for saying hey. Yeah, why well, hello. I keep fucking with shit, dropping it, so that's how my life's going. Oh, hello. Salut. Salut. Yeah, I've been watching The Office a lot, and it's really good, dude. Really? Yeah, man. It's well, better it than I thought. Me. I think it should. I've seen The Office, and I did not like it. It's so inappropriately good. <laughs> fucking ooh. Hey, Wes. Not to Forest. Oh, hello. It's opposite day. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> November 1st is National Opposite Day because everyone's tired. Oh, no, no. November. You do oh, this. <laughs> fuck, it starts today, doesn't it? Um, I'm no nutting nowhere because I'm going to nut the whole November. This is extra nut November. <laughs> I got jerk off eight times a day now. <laughs> Can I get gap periods during the day from like midnight to like six a.m. Doesn't count as no <laughs> November. <laughs> Damn, fuck no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Eight forest, not west. Damn. <laughs> Rip my dream. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking. I don't know. No, I'm not doing no no November. Maybe I'll try. Why? I don't know. I've never done it, so... I did. It's not fun. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> no. I told you. Maybe I lasted, like, four or five months without jerking off. We've talked about this on the podcast. Yeah, and every time I forget that, no thanks. Yeah, dude, it's Are miserable. You a missionary? Jesus, no. relax. I will tell you this much, though. Well, because I just wanted to see what would happen. Did you just start doing fucking... Calculus and <laughs> right, no, I became extremely intelligent. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. No, over here. I had so much more energy. Okay, so like the first like two three weeks was miserable because all I could think about was nutting, like constantly, just like oh my god, need to nut, need to nut now, need it like I'm gonna die. And then after like you get past that phase, and you just don't think about it, you're way more productive. <laughs> Okay. Super productive. I'll be in jail within a week. But the, <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> the whole game plan, like the gross game plan Avoid behind it. elementary schools. Yeah, don't go to elementary <laughs> schools. Is I wanted to see how much better that nut would be after waiting that long. OG Mudbone? It was, yeah, it was disgusting. But <laughs> it fucking, it was grand. Yeah, tennis balls is nuts. <laughs> Dude, it was it was nasty. It was Ugh. it was bad. I'm not gonna get into details. You guys. blow that bitch to the fucking box <laughs> ring. Yeah, you know that scene in scary movie where he blows the nut and blows her into the ceiling. Yeah. That's what it felt. No, but like, it was yeah. Now it, it's tough. Was it worth that? Was that one nut worth it for the five months? <laughs> yes. Will I ever do it again? No. Huh. No, definitely I'm not. Going not. For it. I'm going for no nut November. 
You ever seen the movie 40 Days and 40 Nights? Yeah. <laughs> I say you're going to last till the 4th. I'll be completely honest. I'm going for it. The 4th. You're going to... Tonight. You're going to go home and be like, oh. I'll forget immediately. <laughs> you're going to get into your nightly routine, <laughs> eat a bowl of chili, get some tortilla chips, put on Netflix. Do you watch me? <laughs> put on Netflix and then start beating the meat. You had you know the routine. <laughs> Literally, that's two seconds after I get home. That's exactly what I do. Oh, I forgot the one step. Before the bowl of chili, the shirt comes off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm, you got security cameras around the place. I literally oh. get home, I take my shirt off, I throw it up the stairs, I fucking start making food, I make my food, I go in my room, I eat my chili, about halfway through the bowl of chili, I'm like, I'm gonna jerk off real quick, I fucking blow a nut, and then, do what I do after that, finish the movie and eat my chili and go to bed. <laughs> exactly, it's the perfect nightly routine. Has it been interrupted by Red Dead though? Oh, shit. I don't know how to commit to anything. Hey, yeah, I know how to commit to jerking off every day. <laughs> I'm drinking beer. I'm pretty goddamn good at that. <laughs> yeah, I got this. One month. Do in your mind when you throw your shirt upstairs, do you yell yeet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that. Not not like out loud, but in your head. Do you go yeet? Sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to yeet this shirt. Does it depend on how many beverages get drank that evening? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. That video of your grandpa scared the shit out of me. Or the picture of him sitting yeah. in the dark. It was scared the shit out of me, too. <laughs> I got home and I was just walking down the hallway because if he's awake, you know, the TV's on so I can see and stuff. But that night, no lights were on. So I was like, oh, he's not awake. And I started walking down the hallway and all of a sudden, grandpa starts just talking to me. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. He's just saying a sentence. And like, I was like, what? Grandpa? <laughs> and he was just saying something to me. I was like, okay. Go to bed. Man, he's like, oh, can't sleep. Took a whole bunch of sleeping pills tonight. It's fucking Ambien. He had like fucking three Ambien. Jesus Christ. Fucks you up. That's like, people do that recreationally. <laughs> yeah, people do that to get fucked up. And, and then he just walked in the living room where he watches TV, sits down and just fucking in the darkness is just not doing anything. He just did his rope sitting there. <laughs> and he's like, he'd say stuff to me. I was like, all right, good night, Grandpa. And then I turn off the lights, and he's still just sitting in the darkness, not doing anything. Like, Damn. Okay. My question is, what was he doing in the darkness before I got there? I bet he was just tripping balls. <laughs> like, he was just having an adventure in his head about whatever the and then he, Like, I was fucked up, and he was also fucked up. So he was panicked and just started saying stuff. <laughs> started talking to you. And then I did the same thing back. Oh, well, hey, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Grandpa? Just trying to make some food. I'll be on my way. <laughs> you do you. Oh, you're getting roasted. Well, you know, sometimes Forrest feels like talking at 8 p.m., and then sometimes he doesn't feel like talking at 3 a.m. I don't yeah, know. Sometimes I have a few drinks with me, and I fucking pass out. Happens to the best <laughs> of us. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Mm -hmm. Wait till you're not a minor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you get the black lung. We're talking right now. <laughs> true, true. He just lies. Hey. You know, Forrest has never lied to me, and he's always committed to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider him a good friend. <laughs> yeah, I get drunk. I get in a routine. It happens. <laughs> nothing to do with you, just me. Yeah. Just me the too. Just, just your boy. When I'm in the routine. <laughs> hey, it's true. I agree. Yeah, most people do now. I'm in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everyone commits to U.S. Yeah. Sometimes he's just, he's like, hey, three o'clock. I'm like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Shit. If I have to be there. God damn it. All right. I guess I can't say no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's his, it's a power it's a gift and a curse no one can say no yeah I try <laughs> I try to use my power for only good not evil but every once in a while all evil all evil oh lord 
Lord have mercy. I don't know what it is, but you go through weird phases with women where like I'll go through a time period where like don't have anyone talking to me mm. and then I'll go through a time period where like <laughs> too many like shut the fuck up. Yeah, like it, it's just weird. Mine is No no November. <laughs> no not November. Man, this is I sort of God's gonna be like, no nut November and then puss is gonna be flown left and right. I'm gonna and make I'm gonna have some situations. So much knows. I'm gonna make some situations happen this month for you. I'll be honest, yeah. If, if I'm gonna if bring I bring beat the meat if I spank that monk. I'm gonna bring people over that you just wanna smash and I'm like, he's down. <laughs> you just gotta go in the back room. And I'm like, oh fucking okay. Hey doing two C P What's up, lad? And then I'll have a sign that just says, Remember for us, no nut November. Willpower. <laughs> yeah. I hope you convince someone on the last day and I'm sending them to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> no, because actually what my plan is is they'll say no and then I'll look at him and be like, Well then you got option two. <laughs> no. <laughs> the reason I've actually stopped talking to Forrest is he's too much of a whore. I wish <laughs> If I was, I'd be living that best life. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm forcing a whore. I mean, I'm a boar. <laughs> He's one pork boy. <laughs> uh, have you had a close encounter with the UFO, actually? Um. So I've told my experience. Now, let me preface by saying what I saw was a UFO. Because it was an unidentified. Right. Does not mean that it was extraterrestrial. Uh, my my situation with that was I was with my father, and he will... One of these days, I'm going to get him on either Discord or something to um, tell his side of the story. But we were driving up to a bank, and it was, you know, nighttime or whatever, and we saw in the sky three lights... And basically, they were, like, just hovering back and forth and doing weird things. And then, at random points, one shot off. Like, shot off to the point where, like, it's not like a helicopter shooting off. We all know what that looks like. And we all know what helicopter lights look like. And these weren't it. They, it, was, it was a true unidentified flying object because I don't know what it was. And, <clears throat> you know, to take into, one thing to take into consideration is the direction that we were looking. There is... Uh, it's called Hill Air Force Base, which is, uh, you know, a, it's an Air Force yeah. Base up in our area. And, uh, you know, it could have been something they were doing and just didn't disclose to the public. Could have been weird missile tests. I don't know. But yeah, that's my only experience. Um, someone asked me, can you ASMR rub your beard on the pop filter? Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Just for you. <laughs> I don't know if it's making noise, but there you go. And then 2CP said, I was sitting on the back deck, and a bright light appeared in front of my face. I thought the worst, but it turns out it was just my dad's erect penis in front of a flashlight. You know, that happens to all of us. Yeah. Usually my dad's erect penis goes in my ear. Yeah. But, you know. Sometimes your dad's erect penis just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. That's all you can do. I thought about deleting Forrest from following my Instagram. Well, yeah. you know who doesn't follow your Instagram? <laughs> You stand. Yo, stand up. Who's taller? Wes is taller. Yeah. I can By a you. little bit. Mm. I'm also fatter. Our Discord's down below. I don't have our... Discord. Yeah, if you just scroll down to see um, Discord's below. Yeah. Fucking, would you guys stop coming to this fucking channel? I just want to play Red Dead. Our viewers keep going up, so I'm not leaving. <laughs> Come on, dude. Guys. Red Dead's the best. I had loot picks, so that's okay if you're not following me, Wes. Hey, well, you know. <coughs> I'm going to put nudes on Instagram. Do it, dude. I got to make sure I unf have every block everyone that's under 18. Yeah, that's... I'm not going to have a hashtag me too experience because of fucking Instagram. Make that shit private. Asshole pics. Right. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Hey, That's I've got I've got lewd pics on my Instagram too, so it's cool, small. I, same, I get it. me too. Yeah, you've seen them actually. Yeah. Yeah, pictures of me with a suck over my wiener. Yeah. That's not nude. I can put that shit on there. It's true. I haven't posted anything in a while. 
I think my all time favorite one is when you're at the you're uh naked on the looking out the window or whatever. Oh <laughs> you have your hands like on your hips. Hey. That one just cracks me up. Hey, small grand, I have a nude on Instagram. It's me in Vegas, it's on my ass. Yeah. You can just see dumper, but it's me in Vegas naked. If you post a nude on Instagram, I'll post a nude. What's your craziest ghost story? <clears throat> ghost stories are interesting for us because um and for everyone who's just tuning in, this is Forrest and I'm Wes. Um, we have gone ghost hunting in a lot of areas around Utah. Um, it's where we live. And we try, we've never really seen anything that was like out of this world where we could definitely say like that was paranormal. The only experience that we have is, um, with a Ouija board, funny enough, and me and For- Forrest and I, we don't, like, fuck with each other when it comes to, um, like, Ouija boards and stuff. <laughs> Forrest and I. Yeah. We don't, like, fuck with each other with Ouija boards because we just want to know if it's real or not. Like, we don't want to know, like, oh, ha, ha, we can scare each other. Like, that's dumb. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> damn. You guys are hurting me right now. Um, we were at his house in his basement, which used to be notorious for weird shit like happening and we were using the Ouija board or whatever and we were just getting bored and we have witnesses it wasn't just me and him there was Jake and Chandler there and we had our hands on it or whatever and I took my hand off of it which I guess is against the rules I don't know (laughs) and Forrest took his hand off of it so if we're like use this table as the Ouija board and let's say this little fuck card right here was the planchette thing. My hand went off, and then Forrest had his hand hovering, and the thing went like that. Yeah. And flew off the table, and flew kind of like into the room. But yeah, it's not like either of us flung it. Like, it was just both of us sitting like that, and all of a sudden the piece of it went... Because you could obviously tell when you fling it, because like, you could, you know... It takes force to move it, whether you've used one or not. Like, most of them don't just slide like... A hot knife through butter. They don't. There's. It's kind of like you could feel it if someone else is moving is what I'm saying. And that was the only incident that I could really say was like one of two incidents that I could say that was really potentially paranormal. Uh, excuse me. The other one was with our friend Chandler um, who has sworn off doing any of this stuff with <laughs> us from this time. Fucking bitch. Yeah, a little baby. Um, he watches Vampire Diaries, if that gives you any. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Sorry, Chandler. I'm just kidding. I love you, man. Um, we were over at our friend's house, and we were, like, fucking with the Ouija board, and we were just kind of, like, you know, doing our best Zach Bagans impersonation, trying to, like, get, wear, you know, baby gap shirts and try and antagonize ghosts or whatever <laughs> if they were there. And our friend... Chandler put a piece of paper, I'll use his bottle lid in his hand, and he said, if there's, or Forrest or whoever was saying, if there's anybody here, you know, move that piece of paper. Now, me, I can't bend my fingers down. That's like as far as I can, like, bend my fingers. And it looked like something came up and pulled his two fingers down, (laughs) and the piece of paper fell off. And he churned wider than a fucking ghost. Yeah. And like he we got were, real pale, like he was gonna pass out. Yeah, he looked like he was gonna throw up and pass out. And we all just kind of looked at each other, like, did that just happen? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Yeah, like unless he's double jointed in his fingers and he can like do weird shit that we don't know about, I, I don't think he faked it. Those are the only two times that I could really say weird shit happened. I guess at the old sawmill, that light. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Yeah, there's a old paper mill here in Utah, too. It's in Cotland Heights. And um, apparently, <coughs> so it's apparently super haunted, allegedly. And it actually was a haunted house for a little bit. But um, there's no power running to it. And like a few years, or years, I don't know how long ago. But yeah, years ago, a paranormal investigative crew went into it. And there's no power, and they said lights were turning on, but there's literally no power running to it. Right. And then um, a couple of years ago, we went to it, and you can't get inside unless you fucking cut these bolts off, which me and Chandler allegedly were doing. You have to cut off these giant metal things bolted to the doors, and um, 
But yeah, so we were walking up to it, and there's this giant tower. It's an old building, so it has, like, smoke tower and shit. But it's, like, a view tower, almost, it looks like. And when we were walking up to it, it looked like there was lights turned on in it, and then it went out. So yeah. Michael, was... someone had their fucking candle lantern. Ooh. Right. Who goes there? <laughs> That's what they were saying. It was just weird, though, the... Cause yeah, like, there's no electricity in it, so the fact that it looked like there was lights turned on, it was weird. Yeah, like, it could have been and someone... you can't get into it. Yeah. So, unless you cut off locks, and no locks were cut off. The only thing I could think of is if it was, like, the freeway up above. Re- what, reflection of some A reflection, sort? Reflection. Every we, car would go by would have done it. Yeah, we sat there for another, you know, 20, 30 minutes, and had been back multiple other times and never saw that, you know, <laughs> again. Um... And then obviously our Skinwalker Ranch experience we've talked about multiple times. I'm not going to hit on it again, but you can go back and watch previous episodes. But we have a picture of something that we caught in the bushes. Yeah, on YouTube, episode 2, 43 minutes in, I think. Yeah, episode 2, 43 minutes in. Seems about right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that that's the only thing we've ever caught on camera where we were wondering what it was. It just looks like... Kind of looks like an alien. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's an alien. It doesn't yeah. look like one. It is one. <laughs> yeah, it is one. But besides all that, like, I still... UFO, I'm not skeptic about. I I personally think they have visited Me too. Earth. Whether it's been recently or not, I don't know. Um, but ghosts and demons and ghouls, little green ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I really believe in that. Oh, little green ghouls. <laughs> so good. Welcome back. I think they just... And for those of you listening, Salty just said I'm gay. Yeah, Salty just said, said he's... big gay. The <laughs> big gay. Just kidding, he didn't. Um, yeah, because like, we've talked about this too. Like, For me, ghosts and stuff like that kind of go against everything I believe in. Because that would mean there is an afterlife or something. Or a different dimension. I don't know. Yeah, but small guy, before you go, you can come do paranormal show with us. You're welcome to. You can't be mean to Frank. Frank's our boy. Yeah, Frank's the greatest man ever to live. And he's hung like a horse. Mm-hmm. Some pics. Yeah. Several. It's like. Salty, are you doing no net November? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. That's my next challenge. Oh, you put a heart to show you're kidding? Oh, okay, good. I don't understand things, so. I know. I was talking to someone not too long ago, and they sent me a full message of only emojis. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, did you decipher it like they were fucking having No. Topics? No, I didn't. I no. said, I'm not 14. <laughs> I said, what does that mean? I'm not 14 and don't know emojis. My favorite thing was... I would send Brock just a whole list of random ones, and I would make him tell me a story of what I was saying to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Rose are red. I put jam on my crackers. If you're not in space, it pushes you backwards. All right, Neil deGrasse, relax. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell, who the fuck would be proud of No Nut November? Me. Mm. That's the ultimate, the slowest applause ever. All right. That's the ultimate achievement. You're going to come in like... You, you've... <laughs> You, sh- you can die after that. You pass the life. <laughs> You're going to come in November 31st, just like super big and buff and like, just like, I have done so much stuff this month. I read I can't... Hatchet 32 times. <laughs> yeah, 32 times. If you're wondering if Gary Polson is the greatest author ever, he fucking is. Yeah. Number two, Judy Bloom, super fudge. <laughs> Judy Bloom, super fudge. Read that shit, it's good. Damn. I saw someone post about Magic Treehouse books. I haven't read those in years. Yeah, me neither. I was like, oh my god. I, I, <laughs> I did all books. my hair tests on Magic Treehouse books. There's so <laughs> many pages. and <laughs> That's what the thing says. I don't know if it was someone locally. It was a it was a bunch of uh, Magic School or Magic Treehouse books. And he's like, if you didn't read these as, you, as a kid, your childhood was incomplete and you probably sucked AR. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Literally, nutting has proven to be good for your prostate, so no nutting is actually bad for you, and I'm not kidding. I think I'm a little ahead. If that's, like, an achievement, like, four times a day, I think my prostate's golden. I think one month, he's, old prostate boy is gonna be good. (laughs) It's kind of like drinking beer. 
it's also proven that if you drink one a day, it's probably good for you. But I'm kind of the opposite because you got to have control. So I think, you know, <laughs> no nutting for a month may be good for me. Right. There's so much so much little Dickens can take. <laughs> he took a lot of abuse over the years. <laughs> yeah, I really put my hands on him sometimes. I jerk off more than I drink, if that tells you guys anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> Remind me never to touch anything in your room again. <laughs> no, just the white socks. <laughs> just the white socks. I'm going to find fresh tube socks in your room. Like, oh yeah, I resupplied. <laughs> Other ones have are getting like, old. just have like thumbtacks to the wall and when I'm ready, I just... <laughs> it's like those fucking like, looking for workers, take one. And you take the phone number, it's in my ah. socks are... <laughs> uh, salty my prostate needs a break like how many people they <laughs> take breaks from working out like cheat days my prostate is tired of me my meat eating <laughs> no one's sick of this voice it's smooth mama says it's from an angel <laughs> mama always says I'm pretty they call me Keith Stone cause I'm fucking smooth true true I've heard it before girl came up to him and was like, oh my god, you like Keith Stone. And he was like, I, out of my face, whore. I dabbed with my Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah. Be gone, thought. God, he Liviosa. <laughs> with your Slim Jim. <laughs> and then you floated away. It's pretty wild. My mom has never... My mom doesn't drink really, actually. Yeah, Forrest's mom is a saint. <laughs> Michelle, if you uh, ever hear this, I wish my mom would get drunk with me. I've tried. Yeah. She's not about it. <laughs> Don't doubt. doubt her. She is an angel. Yeah, literally, my mom started drinking like a year ago. And so she'll have like one mic started and like, no, I don't want to get drunk. I'm like, fuck, mom. <laughs> get fucked up. I always thought that our moms would be like really good friends if they met. Because like, same with mine. Like, she like started drinking like maybe two years ago three years ago and it's so hilarious because she'll have like she'll make like one mixed drink with like a little bit of stuff <laughs> and my mom would drink fucking malibu yeah and then like we'll uh be like doing whatever and she'd be like oh i'm feeling kind of loopy <laughs> like shut up mom you're not all right, all right good night small guy all right good night my mom would say she's like i like the feeling of like the hot feeling going down your throat it's like that's what everyone hates. Like, yeah. that's what gives me indigestion. I start feeling that going, I'm like, oh, I'm going to throw up. Right. Yeah, I don't throw up because drinking, because, like, I'm nauseous. This is because I'm, like, an old man. I get fucking ass in me. Goddamn, I got heartburn. You're just puking up heartburn. <laughs> Need some fucking Tums. Jesus Christ. Got to keep those Tums close, dude. They really help. I know. I need, like, to keep them on me. I just pull out, like, a little mini bottle. I keep a big tub of them. I need to. I need to just pick a fanny pack with me. Dude, I wish <laughs> fanny packs would just legit go back. I had one for a while, but I lost it or I would still wear it. I love fanny packs. There's a my fucking 95 Dodge Neon. He's <laughs> <laughs> the coolest guy around. Had a fanny pack, a Dodge Neon. I saw a guy. Where was I at? I don't know if it was with you guys or not. But he had the fanny pack that looks like the beer belly with hair on it. Oh, so it was me. <laughs> it was hilarious. My dad has shown me a picture of the the hoodie with the... looks like you're a hairy man. Oh, yeah. He's like, who would wear this? <laughs> like, me. Yeah, I know. I, I know you do, Salty, and I want it. I know. I want it, too. Fuck. Do you want to end it soon? Yeah, we can end it soon. <laughs> so, Play my howdy partner. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go viewers home. are slowing, so... You what? And the viewers are not 17 anymore, so... Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to call it for tonight. Remember to check out our Patreon down below, YouTube, Discord, iTunes, Spotify. We're on all of them. You we're on Podbean. If you're listening on one of those sites or a different one, remember to go follow all the other ones because there's exclusive content on each of them. Like we just dropped the, the night that <laughs> on YouTube, YouTube exclusive. It was on Twitch. It's not on Twitch anymore. Of me and Forrest and I and Diego uh, playing with the Ouija board. And then on Patreon, we just dropped our first episode of Bible Boys. <laughs> yeah. So go check that out. Watch us roast religion. 
Did you share it on Facebook at all? Not yet. Okay, I was going to say, let me know when you do, and I'll share it on mine. Going to probably Friday, since Friday is more people are on social media. Yeah. Um, this weekend, if everything looks good, I'm going to be fighting our guest Aaron for promotion. Friday? Is it? Friday or Saturday. That'd be a good... Actually, I was going to say a pre-podcast. Is anyone coming Friday? I was going to try and get Bird again. I was going to say, because... Do it like a... Maybe, I don't know. Could, does YouTube allow that? Fights? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe we could try YouTube live stream Friday. We could try that. Mix it up for... Do a live stream of that Friday. Or a Facebook <coughs> live stream. We could, Facebook would probably be a good one. It's live stream on Facebook. Probably get a lot of views. Yeah. And, Maybe, you know, hang out and talk after that or something. I'm down for that. Maybe mix it up a little bit. We can definitely do like, do live that. stream your fight, and then whoever's at the fight, we hang out and talk afterwards. Um, I don't know. Whatever. We'll yeah, figure we'll out. figure something out. So if you aren't following us on Facebook, um, that's down below as well. You just got to send a friend request over. Um, yeah. And if anybody has any ideas for stuff for us to do, or you want us to do, or want us to talk about, shoot us a message yeah. on anything. Yeah, have a good night. Remember, dab for your mom. Don't step on cracks because it breaks her back. (laughs) Tuck your bros in.